All right, give me one moment to set up my, my windows. This game does not like being alt-tabbed. So I didn't want to, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know where that, that thought was going. This is going to be the stream already. It's great. It's a great start. I don't know why I started saying that. I think what I wanted to say was, which is why I got everything set up ahead of time, but I didn't. So yeah, if the, if the game was like being alt-tabbed out, I should have done it ahead of time. So I just realized I was a dumbass. Woke game. Yeah, it's the wokest game of all. I, just, I replayed this game lately. It did not age well. Did you play the remaster? Uh, I already have the game started, so everyone wouldn't have to see the Epic Games logo. Because I know, you know, that's a... Uh, just sours some people's moods. Here we go. I'm waking up. Okay, here we go. Done. Ooh. Thoughts on Wonder so far? I like it. It's pretty good. I don't think I don't think a 2D Mario game can could ever be higher than an eight out of ten for me because I prefer the much more focused kind of Celeste experience on my platformers now. Like like Celeste is demand so much of you, and that's what I want. Whereas Mario games are more about how can we get the difficulty to a fair point but most of the game is going to be much lower than that and just about exploring different ideas at that same level which can be a good time but it's not going to be an amazing time for me so a pretty good game um it's definitely still a couple steps above the average complexity level that odyssey hits which is the problem with odyssey odyssey doesn't didn't have to be balls to the wall crazy although some 3d marios do get that hard toward the end in their secret areas um it's just that the average that they were hitting was was baby mode to me. It just wasn't as good. Joe, I fear you may be pretty underwhelmed by this game. That's okay. We're playing it mostly for context for the for the sequel on Friday. That's the main reason to play it. I've got some Lico rice to celebrate this finished game. Is that some sort of uh, finished treat? <clears throat> Excuse me. I recently read some comments on your early streams demanding you get face cam. Please never do that, even if uh, you do go more full time on streams. Uh, I don't know if I'll do face cam. I don't think you have to worry about that. I have to worry about like, oh, I have to be more presentable. Whereas right now, I I look like like a homeless man uh, that just became like homeless twice. So like, uh, you know, like I don't want to have to do that. <laughs> I can just show up and stream. <laughs> I really need to. Uh, I really need to trim my beard. It's it's pretty it's pretty bushy at the moment. <sighs> Are you going to turn on the dev commentary? I haven't played this game all the way through before, so I don't think I want to play dev commentary. Uh, any options? What are episodes? Episodes, difficulty, easy. Okay, let's go normal just to see what they are. Special one, the signal. Special two, the writer. Okay, do we want to do these after we're done? The signal. Can't stop the signal, Mal. Episodes of DLC. So no American Nightmare. Is an American Nightmare base is in the first one? So if we want to play American Nightmare, I have to load the Steam version. I have it already, so I don't have to buy anything extra. Um, so yeah, this is the remastered, um, one second, I should say this. Alan Wake is an action and adventure game developed by Remedy uh, Entertainment and published by Microsoft Game Studios. The game was released in May of 2010 for the Xbox 360 with a Windows version following in February of 2012 and a remastered version released for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S, and Windows in October of 2021. So somewhat recent actually as well as a nintendo switch version in october 2022 oh why aren't we playing that version then all right so we're playing the remaster that came out just two years ago probably kind of feeling out the how the sequel is going to be received even though the sequel had to have been in development before that um but who knows so so that's that so originally a 2010 game remaster is 2021 it's a remaster though not a remake so it's still going to look pretty dated um, I don't know how big a remaster can go before it's considering a remake, but yeah, whatever. Uh, the game received positive reviews from critics, has garnered a cult following, and is often praised for its visual sound, narrative pacing, and atmosphere. Well, I'm not gonna like it. Anyway, but that's that. That's, that's Alan Wake. That's, that's what we're dealing with. So, 2010 game, 2021, that's that. Uh, alright. So, we're gonna hit new game, and is this a keyboard game? Anyone played the remaster? Do, am I gonna, like, gamepad or, or keyboard and mouse? It's a third person shooter, so I'd rather play with keyboard and mouse, but if it's not, like, got high intensity aiming, I'll gamepad it up. 
Gamepad's more comfortable for me. Can you stop playing 45 minutes from, from now for an, for an hour? I have a thing going on that time. You know what? You know what, Any for press? You know what? No. <laughs> Alright, what about what about options? Um, graphics? Whatever I, I... There's full screen, windowed, and borderless, and all of them don't work with alt tabbing. So that's that. Display 1, 1440p, NVIDIA DLSS. Now nah, we don't want that. Um, revolution scale. V-Sync is off. HUD is on. FOV. Let's turn this up a couple points. We can't. I'm not allowed to turn it up. Oh, I have to click here. Why is this here then? What the fuck? Okay. Brightness, motion blur, film grain, advanced options. Anything I want to turn on or off? Is there motion blur that I just saw? Motion blur off. What about this? Turn on DLSS. Why? Draw distance. You know what? I want the Silent Hill 2 experience. Down is it. Oh, wait, what? What? Woo! But. Why is it even here then? Oh, I, I have to put on custom. Okay, here we go. All right. Draw distance down to zero. Why wouldn't you like? Don't most games when you want to, when you're on a preset and then you hit the button, it just automatically changes you to custom afterwards? Is there very high? All right. Draw distance all the way. I'm loving this. Okay. Do we want FXAA on? I think we do. No, we don't want it on. No, why Why don't we want it on? We want it off, okay, I want it off. Do I want MSAA on? You already have MSAA, yeah, but the game is letting me put both on at the same time and both improvements double better, right? It First it'll go through FXAA and then MSAA will be, oh, let me take it from here and it'll be even better. Do we want TAAA? I don't know what TAA is. I don't know what that is. What's TAA? Temporal anti-alazing. So it's the alazed or anti but only temporarily. Turn it off? All right. Okay. So we good to go? For reference to two episodes of Direct Story Continuations, you'll have to play them. All right. I guess we have to play them. I guess we have to do it. Please put DLSS on OM OMG. Why? No, don't. Switch to display two. Display two is better than display one, right? Please don't. You don't need DLSS. Isn't DLSS if your computer can't run it and it's going to um, dynamically change the resolution so you have a steady frame rate? But if, if, you, can, if you can tank the game, you're good the whole time. Oh, DLSS render at lower resolution and upscale with AI. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I am I can, the game will run fine. It's fine. We're good. I've missed that. It's my phone. It's my phone. Hold on. Let me move it closer to the microphone in case it goes off. Goes off again. We're fine. We don't need it on. We're good. We're, we're good. We're good. Anyway. All right. All right. So before we start, let us say thank you. And then we'll get into it. Already live for 12 minutes. Oh, do we want to do fan art on Thursday or Saturday? Friday, we can't do it Friday, because Friday we're playing Alan Wake 2 first stream. We're not starting off Alan Wake 2 with an, an hour of fan art. Is there an hour of fan art? I don't know. We don't. We can't do that. Turn off film grain. Please destroy spit rate. But it's it's the atmosphere and mood. I don't think it does. I don't think it does destroy bit rate. I think it's fine. I have a thing Thursday. Yeah, it's fan art. Yeah, I know. Subtitles. Hello large. Enable film grain, please. It'll help with the bitrate. That's true. It does. It does help with the bitrate. What are the extras? Statistics. I can't. It won't let me. Subtitles on, please. The subtitles are on. How's the sound, by the way? Did you enjoy Control, Joseph? It was okay. Video commentary, please. That's what I'm here for. Don't worry. That's baked into the stream. Kind of need to go to the bathroom. Thank you, a buff and thick baby. <laughs> All right. Oh, and Madbake. Thank you, Madbake. Oh, and Rygan. We're not playing the game. Love Score Spoken. Thank you, Madbake. And thank you, Rygan. All right. Let us go.
Let us play the game. Alright, hopefully the sound's okay. Okay, is this the I can't play it on Nightmare. What if I click it enough? Will it eventually unlock? Really? Whoa. Okay. Stephen King once wrote that nightmares <laughs> exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. <laughs> That's almost as big as the subtitles. Alan Wake. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, <laughs> it didn't fit. It began with a dream. <laughs> Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late. Desperately trying to reach my destination. Tom and Jerry? House. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I've been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Shame. He was dead. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Who? Oh no! <gasps> Suddenly, his body was gone. Episode 1, Nightmare. Oh, can we read I it from- shock uh, in the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. I, 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 can I feel it first? N no, no, n no, yes, no, no. No, I don't, maybe no. You, examine? All right, okay, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. We have to, we have to turn the font size down. <laughs> All right, there we go. Let's go halfway. We can't do it. All right, uh, is the sound okay or was it too loud? What the hell's this? Alan Wake. What's what's the book called? It's called Alan Wake. Alan Wake by Alan Wake. No, it's called The Sudden Stop. Oh, it's it's uh it's his dream. I had okay. To go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. You know I what? Certain I had just driven from this direction. But now the road was blocked. Subtitle's still fucking large, huh? All right, let's let's turn him down. Okay, mouse's sensitivity might actually have to go down, which is weird for me because usually I have to turn it up. Uh, sorry, I asked and I didn't check. Is the sound too loud or is it okay? It's it's too low, really? Okay. Okay, I'm putting you up to six point nine. Nice. All right. The radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. The car wasn't going anywhere. Huh, so this is our dead wife, huh? Huh. That's surprising. Drop hazard. Can I jump? I can jump! Well, that's the end of my story. Okay. No. No. Stephen King once the wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking. I was in shock from the crash. <laughs> I could hardly stand my feet. Hey, Lily, what do you think of this book cover? Can you see it? Huh. Alan Wake, The Sudden Stop. Hmm. Yeah. You know what kind of writer he is that his name is bigger than the title, right? I had to go to the lighthouse. I, I knew there was something important waiting for me there. The, the radiator had broken when I hit the hitchhiker. Uh, my the my book covers are amazing. Have you seen them? Mm. Yeah, professionally made. Oh shh! Uh, you made mine too. So. <laughs> shh. Anyway, thank you for the cover. You're welcome. 
35 miles per hour. Joe, your name is also larger than your title. Yeah, I, I, that's how I know what kind of writer he is. The subtitles are too small, are they? Hmm. Oh, crap. Okay, there's fall damage. All right. Not to skill floors. All right. Okay, it looks pretty good, actually. For, like, a, a remastered 2010 game. Bridge out. Wish I could read. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Your bridge collapsed. Collectible thermos picked up one out of a hundred. Oh, God. Right, we could totally make that. We could tell yeah, we're not making that. Okay. We, we, we are Joe deadline deadline. We have to get this done. We're playing a writer. We have a deadline. We have to be done by Friday Thursday actually and we have DLC and maybe control DLC to play after this too. We have to we have to go. Let's go Uh Oh This seems familiar <laughs> you think you're God? You think you could just make up stuff? <laughs> with people's lives and kill them if you think it adds to the drama? You're in this story now, and I'll make you suffer. You're a joke. It would be a single readable sentence in your books if it wasn't for your editor. Oh no! Never publish another one of those shitty stories. Cause I'm gonna. Oh no! It's not like your story's already good. <laughs> not like they have any artistic merit. You're a lousy writer. Cheap thrills. Just keeps going. That's all you're good for. Just look at me. Look at your work. Oh, he's gone. He went. He activated stealth mode. I can still see him. Okay. No reactions to that? We talked about not being able to stand up straight, but no reaction to that. Alright. Missing. Have you seen this man? I haven't. You missed your deadline! <laughs> Shift to dodge. Alright. Yeah, well done! Yeah! Alright, this is a horror game. Yeah, good work. Successful dodges are sometimes highlighted with a cinematic I moment. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. No. No. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? Hold down shift to sprint. What if I don't? Do I have to? Deadline, deadline, come on, let's keep going. Come on. Alright, this stamina, I think. This way, this way. Hurry! Alright, how's the sound now? Because there's like a lot of shit going on. Is it too loud now or what? Are we still good? Kind of loud. If anyone ever says it's loud, then it's too loud. Alright, let's turn it down a little bit. Let's turn it down to uh, 8. And can we turn voices up? Speech volume, cinematic volume. Alright, let's turn effects down a little bit. And music down a little bit. There you go. No time to lose. And if I have to turn it, change it again. Inside now. Get inside. Oh, he's dead. He's not going to be in the game on Friday. Oh no. Clay, no. Stop. No. God damn it, die. No, no. Oh, why didn't you cinematic dodge? There was 
no way out. Remedy guy's eye. This is a very light fridge. What's that say? Conspiracy and of faith? Uh what? Follow the light. Okay. Someone said that. The voices could still be louder. Alright, so let me turn it up again to 6.9. Okay, as it was. Okay. And then we're going to turn the uh, effects and music down a little bit more. And if I have to turn it back up again, then that's probably fine. Um, change the mouse since nausea. Yeah, it is a little too sensitive, isn't it? Controls. Sorry, we're fussing a bit because, um, because uh, I didn't do any testing before the game. I prefer to do this with chat. Uh, like that? Probably a little bit down a little bit. Probably okay now. Bigger subtitles, please. That's a bit better now, right? With the mouse, I think. You are hurt. You should go into the light. You are only safe there. Stay in the safe haven until you're completely healed. Who's talking to us? Well done. God who likes I have our books? something important to tell you. It goes like this. <laughs> For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. Follow my light. So says Mr. Stewart. Wake up. You must follow me now. The hitchhiker has been taken over by the dark presence. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Oh, I remember this. Okay. okay are you just waiting until I pick it up? Pick up the flashlight. Oh, sh Pick up the can. Only light can drive the darkness away. You need light to survive. Take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. Was the circle making it go away? Oh, okay. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Oh, okay. Thank you. Take the gun. <laughs> Thank you, Light Orb. The darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. <laughs> Boosting the light with uh, right-click blinds the enemies and burns the darkness way faster. Okay. That that is that's a lot of ammo. Can we can we take this with us, please? That 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 is so much ammo. All right. What about the the battery on? the the flashlight so i hold it down and then i stop and then it comes back oh what's the two you made me this way and now i'm gonna kill you this 
Oh, there's more than one. Insert battery. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Flare. Okay, Flare is probably going to get rid of their darkness right away. Okay. Tactical flashlight reload. It's Yeah, it's hard to change a flashlight battery. So, flashlight stunning into shooting. That's not bad, I guess. So, aiming has like a stun effect, and you have to like get the darkness off them before you shoot. And uh, the battery's pretty low on it. Okay, I'm not really a big fan of the, the flashlight being the reticule for targeting, though, because when you run out of battery, it's kind of faint. But maybe that's the point. Wait, have you not played before? I've played some of it before. I think I got past this. This this is ringing a bell, but I also played the original, so it's um, different. I can keep this up forever! Get to the okay. Let's run. Oh, cr is there a stamina me meter I'm not seeing on the screen? UI blind, by the way. Playing a writer, you have no stamina. Not even my fingers? That tracks. Just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. <laughs> Cheer up, handsome. We're here. <laughs> okay, so I guess I guess the name Alan has just been ruined for me forever. Thanks, chat. You finally did it to me. Alan. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Looks pretty good. In case you are uh, new to the stream, uh, during the Persona 4 playthrough, uh, whenever we were talking to a, a partner character or a possible romance character in the game, and the screen went black between the scenes, chat would start saying they had sex, which caused the uh, discussion to happen where I said, you're crazy if you think that they're doing anything more than, than you know, making out or some, you know, over, over the covers petting when, uh, when, when, uh, when these scenes happen. And then in one scene with the nurse character, it faded to black after they were flirting a bit, and someone in chat said, not only did they have sex, it was anal. Which was pretty funny. 
and I laughed at it. And it also tied back to the Ass Eater meme from the Persona 5 playthrough. However, chat then took it so far that literally every single time that the screen went black in a conversation when it faded out uh, from the game onward, almost everyone in chat just ty started typing all caps ANAL, 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 ANAL. And after a couple of times that happened, we I had to say, listen, you can't keep saying ANAL all the time. There's new people coming in. They're going to think we're unhinged. So it became Alan, which is apparently okay. So now whenever it faded to black, everyone just typed Alan, 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 which became a, a meme from that. Which I think there is even highlights where, um, I think it's Man of Answers' highlights where <laughs> it became a counter, and you heard Alan from, I think, uh, Jurassic Park 3, was it not? I'm not sure. So yeah, that that is why the name is ruined now. <sighs> Alan. Welcome to Bright Falls. Hey, how's it going, train? Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a Ooh. shot of you with the town in the background. Is that the same voice? Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. <laughs> moments before he got eaten by a bear. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure the game is going to be fun or whatever, and it's not going to be that bad. But is anyone else getting Indigo Prophecy vibes? Like... <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Alright, let's keep... Yeah, Alright, sure. Take, take the photograph. Balder in shambles right now. Sorry. <laughs> There. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Oh, Deerfest. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? Look at her. You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying, I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. Pat Robertson? I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but... I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. Whoa! Fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Rude! Fair enough. I, you can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. They have fresh sea fool. Oh. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. Alan. Hey, Ben Zeller. That was my favorite writer. <laughs> oh, my God. Very. Yeah. We just got I think he's a writer. I'm not sure. Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling. Gotta finish that video. Okay, I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Yeah, you're a writer. You should you know, be texting instead of talking. Five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Twang. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. Alan, hey, bro. <laughs> Come on, <let's> <laughs> oh man, every time. Okay, we have to get under control. You look like you're ready to catch some serious fish. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> get back in the car. Get back to the. Oh yeah, of course. We would drive it off. Yeah. I've made all the arrangements, I drive the car, I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt into the car and enjoy the ride. Yeah, sounds like you've got a lazy bastard for a husband. <laughs> yeah, but I got a thing for him. Come on, you lazy bastard. Let's go. I feel like her voice doesn't match how she looks, but I don't know why. Are we going to drive up that? Right, here we go. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. 
Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. <sighs> I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Oh, is he? <laughs> Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, <laughs> Who are you? I you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Writer can't read. Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. Uh oh. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Wait, the book is actually called The Sudden Stop? I thought that was like based on what he was doing in his coffee. dream. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Oh, okay. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. I'm drinking coffee myself. I'm leaving. Uh, right. So, long, so much for a quiet I vacation. I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Kind of Max Payne vibe there, huh? I wasn't ready to leave. Are you on your I own? needed to find Carl Stuckey to you? get the key to the cabin. Show you the town if you want. I get off work at six. <laughs> Thanks, Rose. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. <clears throat> I'm avoiding the obvious joke. Do me joke. a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. What's new, Pussycat by Tom Jones? You put the lime in the coconut. Drink them both up. Just because we're brothers, don't think I won't murder you. It in does your that. Sleep. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Yes. That's my favorite tune. Coconut. Shut your mouth, you demented has been. If I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. Tune number six in the jukebox. Children of the Elder God. Now there's a song for you. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Do we have to play this for the sequel on Friday? Could we just play the sequel? Man, if only we were Francis York Morgan, this would be a 10 out of 10 right now. That's all you would have to do is change it to Francis York Morgan. That's it. We're gold. Ah, oh, got that. Okay. Oh, it's oh, it's blocked. All right. We need cut to get past this. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stuck to, to get the key and get out as soon worse. as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? He's stuck. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you. <coughs> instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. Seems legit. And to meet your wife. Yeah, okay. I insist. Thanks. Uh. Cauldron Lake is a special place. 
very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. What is she holding? Is that a lantern? Oh, she's really afraid of the dark. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hungry! It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. So sad. Splendid, splendid! It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Okay, hey. hey. You wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. The Andersons, they're, uh, <laughs> local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa! What did we skip? What did we skip? I hope you enjoy your stay in Bright... Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! Oh, no! We're going to the wrong cabin! That oh, no! Is a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're yeah, supposed this place looks to be gorgeous, on vacation, man. Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bad man here on PBF. Get it? Not house because of the song? I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. Oh damn! Wait, how did we know where it was? Did she say? Wouldn't we know we're going to the wrong place? She gave. Oh, did she give directions? Okay, Di Divers Isle. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. R really? Okay. All right. This this looks really good. I like I like this area. <clears throat> Zach, you'll never believe who I just ran into at the diner. The Alan Wake. You know, the author of A Sudden Stop. Not the kind of man you see every day. It's the Sudden Stop. Unmemeable. Actually, is it a? I'm not sure. Paul, there might be a thermos up here. We have to find all 100 or else we don't get the true ending. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> Gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. <laughs> I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before It sunset. said Diver's Isle! <laughs> And I have a phobia of water. Together, we are a couple. All right. <laughs> so we're going to an island where, we're, where it's going to get dark and we're going to get surrounded by both darkness and water. Oh, well, I guess we'll die. What the fuck? Bird leg cabin. All right. <laughs> oh, I'm surprised you can get over so much stuff in this game. Here we go. Let's take a look inside. Come on. Are you fucking like? <sighs> it's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? 
Sure thing. I'm on it. Is that why you became a photographer? So you could always have a light source or something? Like, what, what's going on here? That's such... You're this scared of the dark? The power cable goes to that shed well, over there. This door was open. What if we went around? Hello? Anyone here? The deer fest guests have already started to arrive. <gasps> Let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh... He's my favorite writer. <laughs> well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited <gasps> he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well, folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. And now, some music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. Don't want to be that chatter about phobias. But yeah, it, it is. It's true. Like, you have, people have weird phobias. Like, it's it's understandable. Just kind of... Because of the, the dark, darkness and light theming, It's uh, maybe it's coming across as a bit on the nose to me, and that's why I don't like it. it just seems strange. Like, like, even this is too much? Like, hmm. Okay, we have to turn the... Is there a light switch and I'm overthinking this, or...? No. What? Behind the door? Uh, what? There's just one central light switch for this house, and it's lights on or off everywhere. Is it? <gasps> Thermos. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. 70s. If this was a, Ji a Kojima game, this would be 1959. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. <laughs> what the fuck? I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. <laughs> Diver's Island, okay. <laughs> Did that jump scare have a load screen? What the fuck? Fuck was that? <laughs> Alright, sorry honey, I could go in the basement now apparently. Oh I can't. Wait, what? Okay, I feel like I missed a beat somewhere. Let's go down here. Okay, definitely not going down here. Oh, there's a power cable. Okay. There's probably a fuse box or a generator in the shed. Alright, thank you. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh god, is this gonna work? We're gonna be seeing a lot of these, aren't we? Uh... Alright! Alright, well that generator is on its last legs, hon. We better go stay at a hotel. Cause I know you have a phobia of the darkness, and it would be like a real asshole okay. move to make you stay here. Uh, oh, okay. All right, cool. All right. The island had once. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Ew story maybe it would be that again when focus is displayed on the screen you can focus the view on interesting events by pressing and holding F Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge the old building used to be a hotel but these days it was no longer open to the public okay well can I save it restart checkpoint all right that must have been a checkpoint right let's see if we can die again by jumping in the water and just exploding because it's really funny oh there are invisible walls Guess we can't do it. Oh, there is there is a, a basement. 
Man, if I was staying in a house and I'm not able to check every single room, like, assuming I have the house to myself, like, I'm not staying in that house. There could be someone, like, secretly hiding somewhere. I must, like, take inventory of every single room. Is, am I weird for that, or is that normal? I feel like that's normal, right? Like, have to have to check every inch of that house after going in. Climb over? If I hold it? No? He climbed a fence earlier. Why is the climbing not only uh, sometimes food? Yeah, so it's just lights. Alice? Yes or no? Honey? Whose boots are these? Oh, it's hers. Okay. Alice? Hey, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. Is it a laptop so I can do some writing? Honey, we talked about this. I know, but I thought here you might get some rest and you could finally start writing while we're on vacation. It's a vacation for a reason. Surprise! Fu Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession. I thought maybe you could write here that it changed the scene. <laughs> Alice, you... Everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey! Just hear me out! There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic. Here. Hartman? He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No! It's not like that. That's not... Oh no, there was a face! Alan? Alan? <laughs> oh, don't! Just don't! I don't want to hear it! God damn it! Damn it, Alice! How dark is it? God damn it! I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone. Oh, whoa! Time. What the fuck? Oh no, don't fall in the water. Damn it. Oh, I thought we were on the pier. <laughs> Alice? Alice! Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Alan! Alice! I'm coming! It's alright! I'm coming! No! What the hell? Oh no! Alice? Oh no! Oh no! <gasps> no, not water! You can't. Oh, oh! Pay out the doubters. Keep going, Alice. <gasps> yes, write your book. If you ever want to see your wife again, write your book. Waking up in the crashed car felt like I had woken from one nightmare. That wasn't a bad ro that wasn't real rogue mod. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. Oh, Rouge of Mod strikes again. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. The fuck is going on? On oh, Stucky's country store. Alright, here we go. The fuck? No, sh- Oh, f Okay. Phew. This is just an elaborate prank just to get him writing again. You needed this. We made it like one of your books. Oh, I can write now. Thank you. The gas station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Okay, does he know he's asleep right now? Or... I feel like... Sorry, I was laughing about what happened in chat. I feel like how we got here, he's not giving them enough attention. Maybe I just glossed over it. Sorry, like, I don't want to... Like, this is kind of awkward so far, I'm not going to lie. But um, I don't want to criticize it when it's not due. Oh no. 
Oh, lights are still working. All right. Hello? Matt? Hello? Light orb god, Matt? Is someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. Uh-oh. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. F5. Departure by Alan Wake. Okay. The man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. I was awake. Imagine going on vacation and Lily showed up. It show, it showed you a laptop with Witcher 3 installed. That'd be so fucked. The, the same Lily that has got me Witcher toys for Christmas for every Christmas three, four years in the running. That's fucking on brand as fuck. What are you talking about? Oh, another one for your collection. This one's from the kids. <laughs> that's, a, that's a real thing she did. <laughs> oh, man. And it's very funny. Oh shit, Anybody music! There? Please! I've been in an accident! <laughs> My name's Alan Wake, I'm in town on vacation. The lights up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. So you're saying you're a bit of an Alan yourself? I can't I can't be Alan. Because I hate myself and I love Alan, so I can't do that. Alright, we go this way, I guess. Alan. Still blowing Silent Hill 2? Yeah, yeah, so far, yeah. yeah that, that's a given. Ooh. God. Anybody there? Please, I've been in an accident. Hey! Hey, you! Oh, that's why the sound. There's been an accident. I need help. Listen, Listen. I need to... Premium cabins for rent in Nightfall. Oh hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. non refundable reservation deposit required. Fair and square. Uh fair and square. We don't have a light a flashlight. It's like Moncton. This was what movie Moncton was like, yeah. Rachel Amber? Okay, so we go up here. We jump on the car. We jump up here. And then we jump on the wood pile. Alright. And then we jump on the on the lumber. Ah, okay. One second. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it. The as Taken it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop coming any closer. Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. So many similes. I was just thinking that too, Nagus, yeah. That's a sign of a of a good of a good writer, right? All the similes. In three balls, you come to arrive. You lose. Shit. The deposit. It's the latest thing! Kill? Two birds? Three! With one axe! 
I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Uh, he's already done that, bud. Batteries. Six batteries. I wasn't about to open the door, as long as I was liable to catch an axe with my forehead. Trying. It's the latest thing. Incontestably proven health benefits let you kill one stone. Uh. You can see the sights and keep those cholesterol levels down. Thank, thank you, Stucky. Yes. Oh, right, Fall Sheriff Station. Oh man. I... Hello, hello. The spread. Oh, it's, no one's driving it though. Oh, this is cool. Wait, where'd it go? Baba Yaga? Oh, it, keep, it kept going. Oh, okay. The bulldozer had gone over the cliff with the office. I hope Stucky had suffered the same fate, but I wasn't planning on staying to find out. Oh, thanks. The ghosts are so helpful here. There were more of them. My head pounded with a concussion. I'd never fired a gun outside a shooting range, and now I just killed someone or something. There were no bodies. They just disappeared. If I was dreaming, it felt real enough to make me sick. Eerie hand-painted graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Thanks. So, does he not remember the dream where he did this before clearly? Or does he, there's an arrow there too. Or he mentioned the dream, didn't he? Or maybe he's just not making that connection just yet. Or he's not talking about it enough yet. Okay. It's open to interpretation. Uh, it's wood. Oh, there's metal through it. Okay. The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. The dark forest. <laughs> Wait, is that explosive? Hold on. It's red. This is the flare gun. It's not. Okay. Wait, I missed something. What happened to his wife? No, you didn't miss anything. Nope. Oh, it's empty. Oh, okay. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect for each other. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. <clears throat> okay. Alright, what's going on here? This is, um... 
Did he try to get out of his writing slump so he started writing an autobiographical story about himself getting into some bullshit and now the autobiographical version has become real through some weird fucking supernatural fiction darkness entity thing and now there's two of them or something? Like, who's the real one, who's the not real one? What, what is it connected to? Okay. Oh no, not her again. What the hell was that? The moon is- oh shit, that bird just sees one. The moon is different. Are these rhetorical questions? They're almost always rhetorical questions when I'm talking about that, yeah. If I actually want an answer, I will, I will specifically ask chat. Whenever I'm theorizing, I almost always never look at chat. And when if I, I do, I just look for emotes. Below, something uncoiled itself inside my head. I realized that I'd have to find a way across. I didn't even want to look at the water. That's why chat has been uh, has been trained by themselves to, to just do smiley faces or um, he doesn't know or he does know mixed in together no matter if I'm right or not about anything for any game ever. It's a pretty good system, actually. Little trees. Oh, little trees shaking. Oh shit! Okay, we're good. We're safe. Jump up. All right, we're good. Another one. All right, we're finding these really fast. Are all of these in this area, or is is that means? Find this page in. Oh, what the fuck! Harry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. Al and Alice. They were both on a second honeymoon, but Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping, messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Okay. More like comma splice Wake. All right, let's keep going. Oh, you know what? Um, can I get over to the other screen without unpausing it? I'm trying to micro it over. No, I can't. All right, let me say some quick thank yous to people. Yes. Thank you to Huffing Huffing That Muffin <laughs> for the resub. Thank you, Fried Penguin 2 for the resub. Fried, can you get fried, it's penguin, are you allowed to eat penguin? Some animals you're not allowed to hunt, right? Are you, is penguin, do people eat penguin? No? No? It's against the rules of nature. I imagine it would taste awful. Do you think so? I think it would just taste like chicken. And thank you, Bippy Bongus, for the resub with the message, Alan. Alan. This is weird. Stucky was still out there, in the dark, stalking me. Is the game trying to be scary? Or is the game trying to be weird? Because if it's trying to be scary, it's failing. But I, I don't know if I can judge that. But if it's trying to be weird, it's succeeding. It's definitely weird. Oh no! Oh, it's shift that's the, do the dodge, not spacebar. Okay, so you can't shoot if they have darkness on them. Alright, now we can shoot. Do headshots do more damage, or can I even control where the bullet goes, or am I just like vaguely shooting in their direction? Kind of hard to tell, because by the time I I can shoot my uh, flashlights out of battery, maybe we should test it. Why do they always glitch up? It might be a remaster quirk, or it might be a frame rate thing. The staircase was broken. I had to make my way up some other way. Okay, well, I'm really good at that. Hold on. Do, 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 I couldn't do, stay do, here. Do. There had to be a way to get up there. Alright, hold on. 
The stairs were useless. I had to find something else to help me climb up there. Useless? Joe, you're on a deadline. Stop being an Alice to me! There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the top. Oh ho! Chat. Do we want to go back on our bullshit? I think. <laughs> Deadline, Joe? Yeah, but you know me. I don't do... I don't, like, listen to my deadlines. Come on. What if we, like, lured them over there and then jumped on them? Oh, wait, what? What the fuck did you just do to that? Oh, shit. Okay, we want to get it over there without... Okay, can we do a VOC? VOC doesn't look possible here. Can I crouch? C. No. Man, this is stuck. Oh, no it's not. Nah, this is way too awkward. I don't think we can get it over there. With all this forestry equipment around, there had to be something I could use to reach the Yeah, I'm, I'm trying, Alan. I'm trying. <laughs> I actually thought that was like a climbing up fucking like animation there. <laughs> what are you... What do you think, chat? I think this is going to work. Can't wait for the Baldur's Gate 3 crate run. You, you can't get around in Baldur's Gate 3 like this. <gasps> Whoa, hold on. You can run and then you slide onto the barrel and you get launched forward. New tech. <laughs> oh, wait. We can get it up. Okay, a little, little tricky, a little tricky. Alright, what do we think, chat? What do we think? We definitely have to get a barrel on top of the other barrel, right? Make a barrel pyramid. Thinking with Silent Hill 2, I like it. Just charge at it like this. And then it'll 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 align itself properly. Yes. All right. Okay. All right. Shit. That's not good enough. No. Fuck. <sighs> this proves it's possible. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Let's go exploring a little bit. Is there anything else we can get? Maybe there's like a box. Oh. Hold on. Hold the phone. What's this thing? Can, is this climbable? VOC? This is a HOC. <gasps> We're definitely higher, right? Nah, I don't think it's possible. Oh, you know what? This is probably easier, right? Getting up here. I 
Imagine if this game had a day-night cycle. We, we would see it a couple times right now. It's pretty sad seeing a man trying to fill that eternal, eternal void created by Charlie Shan. Oh, I miss her so much. Why you guys say your name? I miss her so much, chat. <laughs> Why can't we pick things up? Let me pick things up. Oh, sh what the f- Is this an exploding barrel? No, that one's empty too. Okay. Oh, this one's like really fast. <gasps> Hold on. Yo. It's on a shelf! Okay, we just need to, like, find a way to, like, move it out. It's working. It's working. Yes! Alright! Oh, it's really hard to- oh, it's not hard to move. It's just weird. Okay, this is really awkward. I, we're not getting the box through the door, are we? Oh. Uh, should we just bring the door? Okay, there's another box here. Oh, this is more. There's more boxes. There's so many boxes. Should we bring this box too? What if? Oh, we can. We can bring these as well. Oh, there's so much shit. It's definitely easier to push from from the side, right? If you go from where the flaps are, it doesn't move. Okay, hold on. Is this a path? Can we take it here? It's so far, chat. Do we really want to do this? Is it even enough height? It's not, is it? Okay, can we get somewhere we're not supposed to be from here then? And just to do a test. No, it doesn't seem like it. Turn into an elephant. What if we shoot it? Will it go flying? Oh, wow. No, not even a little bit. Now it's stuck. Oh, it's not. Joe, the book. Oh, did I miss a book page back in the thing? Hold on, I'll go back and see. I heard them before I saw them. Swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes, black pearls glittering in the darkness. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fireworks. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Ooh. Is there a faster way to get out of that that I'm not doing? Are we still in this case? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not feeling this one as much. Mostly because I feel like it's it's so hard to get things around. If I could stack things easier, you know. I'm afraid if I go over here and push this button, it's just going to fix it for us. Let's see. Maybe, the, maybe we're not even skipping anything. Hold on. Let's see. Move log lift. Yeah, see, we're not skipping shit. There, right? How do we get up there? Oh, there's a ladder. Yeah, we're not skipping shit. See? We're not, we're not skipping anything. Unless. Unless. Let's see if there's an invisible wall. 
Where's the horror? This looks like a Life is Strange puzzle edition. edition. <laughs> Cans? Yeah, see, we didn't skip anything. Would have been fun, though. Would have been fun. Alright, what if we shoot the cans? Yeah! Well, I was just outside for a breath of fresh air, and what a night. I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now, but if you're still up and around, take a moment. Step outside for a spell and breathe in deep. Mm, the weather is absolutely still. The sky is crystal clear. It's like the forest is quietly breathing along with you. Do you listen to that a lot? Okay, you can't hear it if you walk away. On nights like this, I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Makes an old man like me wish I could just roam wild. <laughs> but here I am, and it would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Yeah, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice Horton. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Well, I was just taking Toby on his walk. Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Sure, but Pat, the reason I called is that Toby heard something rustling in the undergrowth and took off after it, and I couldn't find it. Probably a rabbit. Sure. Toby loves rabbits. Well, sure. Anyway, I figured that, you know, if anyone runs into Toby, they could grab him. My number's on his collar. And Toby's a friendly dog? <laughs> well, Maurice, it's out there now. Hope Toby comes home soon. Yeah, thanks, Pat. You have a good night now. Uh-oh. Toby's a good dog. And now there's music. Okay. So let me see if there was an invisible wall there. Uh, I don't think there is. So I, I think if you did get a big enough stack there, you could, you could climb up. Yeah. We're just going to fall. Yeah, so you could climb up. Whether or not this lets you, like, grab on is another question, I think. So where's the dog enemy going to be? Next up. That box isn't, isn't high enough, I think. Okay, supplies. I like this system. The If you notice a yellow thing, follow it and you get some supplies. I don't like that it keeps switching my weapon whenever I pick one up, though. Allows you to use the flashlight to look around without it having to be so dark that you need to see anything, period. It's, it's, it's pretty good. All right, uh, let's At keep reading these. At first, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it... I could save Alice. Okay, so now now we're talking about the experience we're having right now as well. Okay, so there's not it's not like a like a fiction becoming real then, I guess. Well, maybe it could still be. Hmm. The gas station was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. Paul makes the best dogs in the street. Belly Burster is the best with no coat. Monster dog is second best. The famous dog is... Ah! But I'm in the light. Oh, okay. Just got here. Could you give a brief recap, Joe? Uh, we're a writer named Alan Wake. We have come to this place. I don't remember what it's called. Bright Falls, something like that. In order to have a vacation because we're having trouble writing. And um, on the way there, we had a, a nightmare that we went into this realm where we were fighting um, safe haven, uh, like shadow creatures like this. Uh, some weird ball of light showed up and said, hey, you can use light to fight the monsters. Also, the monsters we're fighting are kind of based on a book that we're writing, but or maybe haven't written yet. We're gonna write sometime in the future. Not sure. I'm not explaining it very well. Um, 
let's focus on the real world stuff instead, or what, what appears to be real world, real, real world stuff. We went to a diner to get the keys for the for the the cabin we're staying in with our wife while we're here on vacation. And when we went there, some someone else was there pretending to be the person that um, that we're meant to meet, or related to the person we're meant to meet. Uh, and it's dramatic irony. We know that, but Alan doesn't. Alan being the main character. Um, and so we get the keys and we go to a cabin, and it's not the right place. And then our wife put a, a typewriter out so we would do some writing while we're supposed to be on vacation and said something about some some doctor that's going to help us get over our writer's block. And then we walked away from her because we were mad at her and then some evil birds attacked and she got transported somewhere else. And then we woke up in this place after going through a car crash. That might have been the worst plot recap I've ever done. Maybe they're misunderstood birds, yeah. It was very literal, literal though. Yeah, maybe it's because it's uh, a bunch of stuff is kind of... It's not non-linear, but it's, it's fragmented, so... Oh man, I dodged. Oh no, it's Dark Souls. Okay, I feel like I'm hitting shifts. Maybe I'm hitting it too late, even though they're not hitting me yet. Yeah, where's the cinematic dodge for that one? Do I need stamina to cinematic dodge? Yes? Okay, that's why it's not working then. Okay. Maybe I do need to fight them. It felt like they were respawning as I was killing them. Let's try and run one last time. <gasps> no, the page! No, I'm done. I don't want to pick it up anymore. I'm done. What? The oh. Okay. I stepped into the gas station's garage. It was dark and quiet. The place was a mess. It looked like someone trashed the place or that there'd been some kind of fight. Light spilled into the room through an open door at the back, and I made my way toward it. Without any warning, I was blinded by a bright light. An old portable TV on the shelf had come alive by itself. Impossibly, I could see myself on the screen, talking like a madman. Hmm. Checkpoint? All right. Oh, we're, we're full on ammo. I thought the flare gun would only take away their uh, their darkness production. I didn't think it would kill them outright. Flare gun's really powerful. Is that pointing down or? Hmm, okay. Proceed at your own risk. Maybe it's just letting me know there's one in the area We and it's the one that we already found back there. Oh, there's a lot of them. Just keep running. Oh, we're full on batteries too, okay. TV is... What? Did that break or...? The cabin on Cauldron Lake? She asked. The sheriff looked at me suspiciously. The early morning light flooded through the office windows. I would probably never have gotten out of the woods alive without her help. But I couldn't tell her the truth of what I'd faced the previous night. She'd think I was lying or crazy. She'd lock me up. 
and she wouldn't help me find Alice. Who the fuck is Alice? Is there a button I can press to get out of that, like, immediately, chat? Or do I have to press escape three, one, two, three, four times, including the page, every time? F5? Just F5 to get out of it again? Nope. Nope. It doesn't. Maybe after I, I hit the page? Before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. Nope. I spun around just as oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So only from the page. Okay. Did this break or what? Oh, okay. Should we reload for that or what? That seems important. What difficulty are you playing? Normal. It wouldn't let us go on the hard. You have to beat the game first before you play on hard. It's one of those kind of games. Do I have to kill all these guys in order to to, to use the TV? Or maybe if I go inside and then come back out again. All right. I go inside. I go out again. They're gone. All right. I get. I get the. Uh, I get the page. Uh, oh, oh, it says I already read it because last time. All right, I guess. All right, and now what? Now we go and use the TV. Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to elevate all of mankind. Newton, Einstein, Sagan, princes among men. But the price for such a legacy is steep indeed. In Night Springs. <laughs> Tonight's episode, A Quantum Suicide. If our lives are already written, it would take a courageous man to change the script. Having called a press conference, Dr. Barclay Colvin is about to demonstrate that very courage. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Barclay Colvin, and I'm glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute. Tonight, <laughs> I'm going to give a practical demonstration of the many worlds interpretation. As you can see, this is a loaded 9mm pistol. It shall be part of a thought experiment. And now, a real experiment. Known as a quantum suicide. Did he say suicide? Is that a real gun? He's kidding, right? Uh, please, please, stay calm. There is no risk. Observe what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead. Now, you might think this round is merely a dud. Not so. Observe the flower pot. And yet, I myself cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my machine here, I have ensured that uh. this reality is always the former. I have bestowed upon myself quantum immortality. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This one thing did not happen here. You're insane, Colvin. Insane? Insane? Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools! Gaze upon quantum immortality! Poor, poor Dr. Colvin. Felled by his own hubris or the ignorance of the masses. Perhaps he should have left the crate unopened, the decaying atom unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. In night spring. Okay, can we play that game instead of this one? That's a good story. Scary door. What game is Scary Door from? Was that Control? Futurama? I feel like there was another game like this where you had TVs and, and, and it showed like weird horror things and that reminds me of Scary Door. I guess I'm getting it mixed up. I'm a spooky safe. 
Spooky safe, spooky life. That was control, was it? Break time? It is break time, yeah. This seems like a good place to have a break with the TV. Okay. Here, enjoy enjoy the swinging, uh, the swinging wood. I'll be right back in about five minutes. I'm very sorry, but I think I can add 210. Can you summarize the last hour and 20 minutes of the game? Um, I tried to about 10 minutes ago, Annie, and I didn't do a very good job. When I get back, I'll see if I can do it better. Be back. Can we still hear it? All right, let's see if we can summarize the game better this time. Alan Wake is a writer who hasn't been able to write anything since his last book, The Sudden Stop. He has come to this town for a vacation with his wife in order to see if he can break out of his funk. He is having trouble sleeping. It is unclear what's real and what's not so far. Right now, this might be a nightmare or it might be real. The scenes with the wife might be a nightmare or they might be real. We're not sure. His he Him and his wife went to a cabin on the lake and then... They had a fight because she expects him to write and go and see some Dr. Walder in the area to see if the doctor can help him. Dr. Hartman. <clears throat> Emil Hartman. And he stormed off in a huff because she's afraid of the dark, so she won't follow him outside. He's kind of an asshole for that, using her phobia against her. And then while he was gone, she was attacked by something. We ran back into the house. On the way there, we were attacked by spooky birds. And when we got in there... It was like she was abducted by some supernatural force and then it snapped to the next scene and we were in a car crash right here and that's where we are right now. That's what's happened. There was another scene like this at the beginning of the game where we were being attacked by our axe, an axe murderer who apparently is a character from one of his books and we're finding pages of his, of his, of his book that he hasn't even written yet that he was planning to write and it seems like we're acting out the, the book itself. So it's unclear what's real, what's not. Also, the cabin that we're staying at is not the right house. So there's some supernatural force at work or some nefarious woman, and something like that. All right. Um, is that better than the one I did earlier, I think? Well, it's, it's got to be better than the one I did earlier because, look, fuck, the one I said earlier was horrible. Boss time. Space bar is not the dodge, it's shift. There we go. What is light? Oh, so the enemies have a like a shield of darkness around them, and you need to use the light in order to like heal the light off, uh, the darkness off, and then they're susceptible to damage with the gun. What? Apparently, the light also does just some damage to them as well. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Assuming I'd reach the lights at the gas station alive. Also, Stucky was the man we were supposed to meet at the diner to give us the keys to the place we're supposed to be staying at. And instead he was stuck in the bathroom and didn't hear us. And some weird old widow was there who gave us keys to a different place instead. And then as we were leaving, Stucky ran out and said you didn't get the keys so we went somewhere else instead so i don't know what the hell that's all about and i don't know why he's here now either that's not really explained yet again it's not clear what's real and what's not maybe it's all real i don't know 
It seems like like fiction's becoming real, or it's becoming real to Alan. But I, I'm kind of... I, I'm a little spoiled on something because I saw the trailer for Alan Wake 2, um, which I won't say. It's kind of like a, a vague spoiler, though, but yeah. Say please... Okay, well, maybe I should say because everyone will know where I'm going into in this, in this, uh, in this playthrough. Um, is that I know in Alan Wake 2, there is another playable character that is also dealing with supernatural entities that seem to be in line with what we're doing here. So so I know the supernatural is, in some intents and purposes, a real entity, and it's not just all in his head. That That's what I know from, from like, the, the spoiler. I don't know how far that goes, but, like, I know this isn't just, a, like, him being insane. You know what I mean? That That's what I know. Maybe he's also insane. <laughs> it could be both. But yeah, that's that's what I know. Or maybe the Alan Wake 2 is just his next book. And he I wrote about someone else. I the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Alice. All ice. All ass. <laughs> Alice. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness... It's the a bad the gas station felt comforting. <laughs> At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. Okay, gonna try and move through it fairly quickly without rushing. So, if we see like a TV or radio, I will stop and listen because I feel like that's an important part of the experience. I like that those parts of Max Payne. Um, but I, uh... I don't want to try and fuck around too much. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. All right. Whoa. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, Ooh. talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? How many layers are we on here? What the hell? There's the Alan we are now, that Alan, the Alan doing the narration. There's me. And what else is there? How many Alans are here? Nordic... Oh, it's Nordic walking again! Incontestably proven health benefits. Alright. Deerfest. Use the phone. It's just misery. Right ball sheriff station. Um wait what? That was a weird transition. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker. You are I'm Alan Wake, but listen. I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wade. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake. Not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake, and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. How many places does Stucky own? Stucky has his fingers in many pies. What's going on? Uh-oh. See, told you. Are these remastered too, or...? Oh, the same bridge. Okay. They're kind of stuttery. <laughs> End of episode one. Oh man, no wonder everyone wanted a sequel. Whip out the kazoo. Do should I get a kazoo for streams? Well, this is getting copyright claims. Previously on Alan Wake, <laughs> a 
I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. <laughs> Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? Alice? His wife looks so different in the cinematics. Behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. Wait, a week? The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2, Taken. New York City, three years ago. Wait, what? Oh, I wish I could write, but I just can't go to sleep. Is it a writer thing to have trouble sleeping? Or is it just a couple of things that have happened like that? Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Why don't you have one like going already or something? You know I was coming home. Look at the weather. No coffee? What? Oh, new TV. Oh, nice. Where are we going? I hate radiators. You just know that the air coming out of here kind of stinks. I hate radiators so much. Like, you have to have them. You have to have a heat system. I just, like, like man, like, they all kind of suck. How how tall are we? Or are the doors just gigantic? What the fuck? Building maintenance will need access to your unit between something and something this coming th something Thursday to replace the filters to the air duct. Oh, see? Exactly. See? There you go. Coffee's on. Oh. Oh, so you wanted a coffee. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You know what? This place looks pretty fancy. Maybe the heaters in here will work really well. He is child sized and I can't unsee it. <laughs> I see it too. I'm sorry. Look, look, look. Is it the scale of the, of the apartment? Like, he wasn't like that in the last scene. <laughs> What's going on? Mom says it's my turn to turn on the coffee maker. Like, what the, <laughs> the hoodie doesn't help. Yeah, it doesn't help. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Oh, sex! Oh, damn! Oh, dude! Oh, dude! They had the sex! Oh, damn! Damn! Do you walk around the house with, with no shoes on? I, I think it's weird that they're not taking their shoes off. Especially with the weather like this in New York. Don't people take their shoes off in New York? I know some parts of the world, it's it's customary to keep your shoes on when you go inside houses and everything. But in Canada, it seems to be that because for so much of the year it's fucking snowy as shit, like people usually take their shoes and boots off when they go inside their house, in, in their houses. Um, in the UK, it was pretty common to have your shoes on as you were inside for most of the day. Um, especially if you were visiting someone's home. Um, but like, in New York, they gotta take their shoes off, right? Question, question mark, Joe? What? What? When I visited someone in the U UK, right? I my shoes stayed on the whole time I was in their house, and Un unless I was like staying the night. If I was staying the night, okay, shoes can come off or whatever. But like if I was just visiting, my shoes would stay on the whole time I was there. Has that changed now? Is is the UK more like they take their their shoes off when you visit now? They hated you for that? No, they didn't. It was a part of, like, the, no, you keep your shoes on when you're in here. There's no place to put your shoes. It was weird to take your shoes off. I don't know how to, how to, like, explain this to you without, like, or prove this to you without a time machine. So you just have to take my word for it, man. Like, that's just how it is, okay? N not every place in the world is, is so common with take your shoes off when you come into the door, please. Sure, your feet are your own. I won't believe you. You don't, ha you don't have the rights to drums. So, no, you don't get to see that. Joe, in the UK, we also used to have carpets and bathrooms. Things change. Yeah, I'm I'm completely on board with things changing. I haven't been back in the UK in a, in a while. So yeah, like if things have changed, that's great. What is the size of this door? What year is it? Maybe we need to go and finish Skyrim. Here we go. Let's go. These look really good. 
Yay! Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh, no! Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please oh. hurry! If only we hadn't turned that coffee maker on. Hold on. The sudden stop. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. <laughs> I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Fatale. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. The rain was coming down like all the angels in heaven were taking a piss at the same time. This was a late goodbye. Late the goodbye? Oh, reference! I my revenge. It had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. My blood painted the snow red. A gruesome slushy dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city. Becoming one with it. I can see them now. My wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Okay, so what? what's the... What, are you a fan of Poets of the Fall? I only know that one song they have for Max Payne 2. I like that song. It's pretty good. So what? what's the canon here? Are they connected? I know... Did Remedy make Max Payne 1 and 2 but not 3? Or or what? Like, Or is that a different different dev team or, or a different company that became remedial i can't remember so what what is it is it like did did alan wake write max Payne, or is this just a reference return to sender what i can't forget alex casey an alex casey thriller I really like this, alan. Please hurry. the things that i want <laughs> The fall I of really the fall of Casey. Oh, should we scan the QR code? What, what would happen if we scanned that QR code? Hold on, I have my phone with me. Alan, please. Shut. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm go, I'm on it. Away. One one second. It's fine. Link. It's a YouTube link. Vision O2. Jensen? Things I had a connection to, but also things I couldn't possibly know. I used them in my writing to make it real, so that the parts that weren't would become so. And there were visions that I knew were not real, ideas I had lost, often of Casey. I had written about him for years. I used them as well. The lies had to feel true for them to become true. Had I always written this way? Even before, seeing things without realizing I was seeing them, thinking they were mine. Was this what inspiration was for me? All right, I kind of like that. You can scan it and you get a little a little cutscene on your phone. That's neat. I like that. This is a this is a very nice apartment. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just. Get the lights back on now, please. If you had a phobia of the darkness and the lights went off, wouldn't you just like go toward the window where it's brighter? Wouldn't you always have a flashlight on you? I guess now you're home, you feel safe. This coffee's not coming. Yeah, this is where it happened. Yeah, right, Alice? Yeah, yeah we didn't make the bed because we were too happy? No? No, what make your bed? Fucking make your bed. What the This would take you Okay, this is a perfect example of why the fuck didn't you just make your bed? This is this is a five second job, which is coincidentally how long it took last night for these two. Just five seconds, just make your fucking bed. Easy. Joe's worst It's not what the hell? Make your fucking bed. It's another box. Okay, where the fuck would the fuse box be in an apartment? Usually it's in the kitchen, isn't it? Wherever we lived, the fuse box was usually in the kitchen. In one place we lived, it was like somehow built into part of the stove. It's gotta be in the kitchen. 
Oh, it's here. Oh, okay. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. You, you, what if, what if I wasn't home? What would you have Hi. done? Hey. You okay? I'm sorry. I just, it just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just, especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. It never stops snowing. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <laughs> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. Uh-oh. The clicker, huh? The yeah. clicker. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here you, it is. Lady, you oh, asked for a story! Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. Thanks. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. It's his job. The present day, Bright Falls. All right. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. What is He'd this? send me to a hospital for tests. What is this I camera? I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. And Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Oh, Sarah, man. Uh, Sheriff Breaker is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. Hmm. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Gonna catch Doc some Nelson serious was fish. Holy shit. The small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Okay, is that a catfish? What fish? No, that's not catfish, is it? I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing shore for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass. Ah, uh, chat was right! After, if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. I don't know, man. Fishing's kind of boring. Maybe I would enjoy fishing more if it weren't for mosquitoes. Mosquitoes love me. And mosquitoes also like water. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Uh, just go down the corridor. Mm -hmm. Someone said try to v try V-Sync. If we have another um, vibrating uh, cinematic, then we'll put V-Sync on and see if it works. I had something to say, but now I've forgotten it. Maybe it was about the memory to loss. Go, Mr. Wake. Sarah's probably okay. waiting for a chance to talk to you. What's going on? Like, are they going to be like, how did you even get into town? We ha we don't even remember you coming here. Well, like, what year is it? Like Disappeared. Hi. Knack for winning contests. Oh. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Your phone, Mr. Wake? Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Everyone's we so angry. Arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? <laughs> I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. We're talking about your car's extended warranty. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? What, the back what is going on? A hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. 
After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. For watching you. I need some fresh air. Can I go out? In the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Can I ask you what the call was about, Mr. Wake? It's personal. Well, we are looking for your wife, and I'm going to need your cooperation if I'm going to help you. I need a moment, after I get some fresh air. Okay. You can find me here. We'll talk when you feel up to it. Did you ever have any interest in true crime TV shows or videos? No, not really. I'm starting to regret playing the remaster because the game's kind of awkward, but the fact that it got remastered two years ago is, is making it in a weird way feel more dated than I think the original would. Does that make sense? Like I feel like playing the remaster if you've already played the original is a good is a good choice maybe, but oh this is rough. No does it does it make sense? Okay, Wait, sorry. Can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake, you can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. Is it weird that I love the weird uh, voice acting in the random cuts and other crap? It's disorienting, but it's so fitting considering we have no idea what's real. And I, see, yeah, that, I feel like that's where the, maybe the original would feel better. Like, no, maybe the remaster. Maybe I'm, I'm not vibing with it. Maybe the remaster would make that. Hmm. Should should uh, like amplify that effect. Yeah, I can see where you're coming from, but for, but for me it just kind of feels awkward and broken. Hmm. I don't know. V sync show. It hasn't it hasn't stuttered again in a scene yet. If it does, then we'll do it. Did it stutter in the scene with the uh, with uh, with Sarah? I think her name was Sarah, wasn't it? Deputies, they won't, they don't understand. They won't listen to me. I, I need it to be bright in here. Why wouldn't they turn the light on for you? That's weird. Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. See? Sure, sure, sure. I... In spite of its human mask, to describe the Dark Presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Wait, what? Okay, first of all, this is the sudden stop, right? This is... A different voice. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen. Why is it a different voice for the different parts? Or is this is this a different book? In spite of its human mask. Why are we still finding pages when it's not? Um. Oh wow, there are a lot of pages here. When we're not in the nightmare realm. Interesting. Maybe it's a gameplay thing. Drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterwards. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. Did they find a dog? Uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. Had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their Deer Fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Rude Joe talking with his mouthful. Well, it's full of tea, and when it's a liquid, you're allowed to talk. It's only when it's food, you know, let's talk with your mouthful. 
The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence. Yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. I know. Station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Oh, I see. Okay. What the f what? My god, it's a page of my book. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had Oh shit. From. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall and the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I, too, once failed to shoot my wife. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Whoa, how did you know? Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Oh, I thought we were gonna, we were gonna do this. So it's been a week, huh? really has been a week that's weird okay I'm a bit interested what happened you should be telling them you don't remember a week bruv a writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness shapes it from nothingness the way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite if I stop the world I'm making dies darkness will reclaim it it's a long hard journey into the dark Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Oh, the TV burnt out. Whoa, good night, sleep tight. Whoa. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. You sound familiar. Oh, Are okay. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No. Am I being detained? Not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? <laughs> I have the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. <laughs> my clinic is a place where... Oh, my. Take it easy. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler. His agent? Yeah, Barry. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. Get me out of here. Who's the voice actor for Emil? What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. <laughs> Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I hey, was Rose. Just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. It's He's Alice, too. Balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Oh, so she kind of looked like Alice there. Who's Max? What an airhead. 
Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. I black out and write mystery novels. Whoa, well, uh, where can I learn how to black out and make Witcher 3 videos? How can I learn this power? Skeleth I, I don't care. Now this I'm interested in. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Okay, do we even have a wife? Are you like, 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 oh, do you, you sound crazy talking about how you have a wife when you don't have one. Like, like, I feel like no one is taking Alice's missing seriously. Cause you know what? Look around. She ain't here. Like that part's true, right? Like what's going on? Although I will lose my shit if at one point someone finally says who the fuck is Alice. <laughs> oh, pills. Aw, oh, darn. Oh, this is nice. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? Hey, what are we You're doing? Rick Abbott's. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Poor Yoshi. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Aww. Uh, Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. Seriously, the form's on the desk you can't just the go and skeleton. meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing is... Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha-ha, <laughs> let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Okay, I still don't know if he has a wife or not. Here, all right. Here you go, Rusty. I think this is the form you wanted. We gave it to the and dog. Here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Oh, and, it's, and then Stucky runs out from the, the bathroom. Oh, Wrong keys. Oh sure, it's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. Oh. It's an easy walk. Nice spot too. Wait, walk? If you have any trouble finding it. Just keep your eyes on the radio mask. Look, it's Al, right below that. You're asking me to believe that you shot a dude who went poof into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing. Didn't the guy you punched essentially confirm she existed? Not sure how they could explain that away. Maybe that guy knows that we're insane, and and part of his process is to like humor the crazy person in their delusions before unwrapping them and making them realize that they're not true and that's what he was doing and that's why our our guy alan got so angry about it eh? Eh? shirts with two long tangled up sleeves and eating a healthy diet of pills al you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff you're the skeptic you gave me an hour-long lecture on homeopathy last month what was it? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. True. That's the laughs on me then. Al, come on. Isn't it homeopathy? I mean, okay. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Well, thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. Bone? What would you think if it was me? There's no way you should be going out at midnight with a gun. No one asked you to come here, Barry. Either work with me on this or go straight back to New York. Your choice. Uh -huh. Big stuffer. 
Oh, gummy yummies. What's the other one? Garlic and vinegar. Ugh. Would those be good? Would garlic and vinegar chips be good? Maybe? Uh... That's just crazy talk, Al. Al? Al? We should go to the sheriff Alan. or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry. They'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Achoo! Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Ooh. You want to know where you can shove that flashlight? Watch where you point that thing, Al. Achoo! Trying to get a Stop raise? It, Al. Stop it! Alright, so so he's al allergic to light. This place feels kind of familiar, actually. Oh, we lost all of our ammo and shit. All of our batteries. Is it reset with every episode? Oh. Hmm. Some people have a um have a response to uh to seeing a bright light when they need to sneeze. Lily has that way if she ever needs to sneeze, she can look at a light and it'll make the sneeze happen. But do some people have like uh even if they don't need to sneeze and they see a light they can start to sneeze? Real funny, Al. Real funny. Ha <laughs> ha thank you. I'll just sit here in the dark till you come back. Alright, you do or that. Until I get eaten by a gru. Oh, not a gru. Photic sneeze reflux, it's called, or is it photic? It's probably photic. Photic sneeze reflux. Uh, re sorry, reflux. It's called. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with your spirits every step of the way, Al. Watch through the door now. Barry had never gotten along with Alice, but he knew Alan loved her with an almost frightening intensity. And now something had happened to Alice. What? And here was Al armed with a gun and saying things people got put in padded cells for. It was as if his friend had experienced a massive psychotic episode and was now totally disconnected from reality. It scared the shit out of Barry. Did we miss one or did we find some of them out of order? I should have hit F5. I, I, wonder knew if, I, should have I wonder if it's intended that Al could be Alan or Alice. Yeah, I thought that earlier too. I don't think so. I think it's just like a cute kind of pairing name for them to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Maybe Alan Wake is a character all the way down, and Alice is the real writer who created Alan Wake, and that's why she, like, got on the typewriter and said, right, goddammit, because she's fed up of his shit. Okay. I'm just gonna come in here and turn the radio on. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your deer fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> <laughs> Just caught a heck of a large mouth bass early this morning. 
But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Okay. So, does the game just, like, put things here that fuck with you a little bit, and I just haven't noticed them until now, or... Is that one of the first ones? Because that, that guy is gone. Maybe he's gonna jump us when we when we walk down the path a little bit. Alright, I think the TVs are worth it, but maybe the radios aren't? Let's listen to a couple more and see. <sighs> Hell's that? This is a very strong flashlight. Alright, do you think we can flip it? No. Deadline Joe, yeah, sorry, Deadline Joe. Deadline Joe is my name for this stream. Rip Emoji Joe, Rip, Rip Fido Joe. We're Deadline Joe. Lover's Peak, Moonshine, Moonshine Cave, Elderwood Nature Trail. Owned. Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish, especially in Night Springs. Tonight's do, episode, do, 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 do. The Man in the Mirror. Ooh. Did I have water? Oh, it's here. He's inside, Agent. He's a weird one. So, you're confessing to killing that guy, huh? Why? Is it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. You took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Yeah. Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay, so you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. He looked like me. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. But the white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. When you look in the mirror, yeah! Pretty good. Kind of corny. Or cheesy. Cheesy. It's more cheesy than corny, right?
this one? Okay, definitely I've ordered that. knew that Rusty was in love with her, and she liked him too. She liked him a lot. He taught her to dance, and life had certainly taught her the value of a man who was gentle. He treated her well, made her smile, made her feel good. But Rusty wasn't the prince of her dreams, and that tended to underline the unbearable truth. She was no closer to that Hollywood magic than he was. Wait, what? Rusty was the one looking after the dog, right? He seemed nice. Man, they like putting these pages around. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had crawled up from its grave. Rusty kept coughing blood. Spoilers. His eyes were drawn to the twisted shape of his broken leg. The attack had been vicious. Max whined in his cage. Rusty's eyes were wild with fear and terror. He gasped. Mr. Wake, it happened just the way it was on that page. Hmm. Okay, is that going to happen later? Because if it does, I'll be interested. The vision left me weak. This was no head injury. No! Why is Rusty here? One second, there's loot in here. Thermos. Alright, that's explosive. What? The visitor center was sturdy, but the impact turned the front of the building into splinters. Rusty was thrown across the lobby like a rag doll and hit the far wall hard. It didn't hurt until he tried to move and saw his leg bend the wrong way. Felt the broken rib stabbing him on the inside. Like a knife. Rusty howled in pain and fear, suddenly afraid to die alone. Alright, so we came here to the visitor center, got a place, drove up there, waited for it, and now we're walking to the, to the rendezvous. I thought, I thought we would have driven closer there. Okay, it makes sense. I understand where we are now. The ranger's office was locked. I'd need a key to get in. Okay, thank you. Hello? Back here. I'm back here. Hey. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh, hell. It happened just the way it was on that page. I found. Came true. It knew. Ooh. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must. The lights in the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Shh. Good boy. Okay, so there was a little bit of uh, vi vibrating in that scene there. Do we want to try V-Sync or no? Do you think that's going to make a difference or, or not? Guess we put it on C. I don't know if it's gonna help, but we have it on. Let's see. Uh, what key did he give us? The key, the key to here, right? And then he's gonna the get. The only eaten. way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Uh. Okay. I came and got this page, and then Rusty died. At the last instant, I changed direction and threw myself down. The axe splintered the trunk of a tree. I stumbled into the pool of bright light. My lungs burned. I was too exhausted to move. I tensed as I waited for the killing blow, but it never came. I raised my head. Nothing moved in the darkness beyond. For the moment, bathed in the cold light, I was safe. Okay. So... I'm not I'm not not enjoying these parts, but the game is just brimming with interruptions, huh? Like, oh, here's this chapter of the page, oh, here's a radio show, here's a TV thing, you know, it just you can't go very long with just playing the game or, or having something like that. 
And I wonder if that's a good thing or not. Lots and lots of interruptions. I wonder if the second game is going to be that way too. I was too oh. late. Oh. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. No, just pull the axe out and it'll be fine. Rusty! Rusty! Hope he's okay. I'm coming, Rusty. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. So we're Super Mario Sunshine now. I just need hunting licenses. Wait, is the dog Toby? No, the dog was Max. All right, it seems like it's three shots no matter where you hit them, because one of those landed on the hand. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Wait, was it the mammoth? Is the mammoth gone? Oh. Well, that would have been cool. Is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. What? Music, what do you see? Oh. Obey! The park ranger's instructions. At all times. Rusty? Rusty, no! Never. Rusty, no! Two bears and wolves never approach any other wildlife. Closer than 25 yards. Pets must be leashed. It is against the law to remove any natural objects or historical artifacts from the park. Yes. This includes even. If I see a cool rock, I'm taking it with me. Fuck you. That bounced right off his head. They really got the stubbornness of a rider down. Have you played the original? Uh, a little bit. I definitely, if I did play it, I definitely didn't get this far. I have no memory of this whatsoever. So I barely played the original. Maybe I only played it for footage for, um, for a video. I know I used Alan Wake footage in one video one time. I think I played a little bit more before that. I can't remember, sorry. Checkpoint reached. Alan? What? What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. I'm sorry, Alan. Are you being catty that your friend just didn't automatically assume that you killed someone and then they poofed into a pile of, like, ash or whatever? Like, come on. In that last instant of consciousness, Rusty thought about Rose. He was older than she was. Rose was barely out of her teens. But she made him feel young and forget what a train wreck his long-dead marriage had been. Oh. He still wore the ring. He'd been waiting for her to tell him to take it off. Now she never would. <sighs> He's a writer, Joe. They're all assholes. True! That's true. That's so true. When do we do a level that isn't in the forest? Alright, that's where we came from. So I think we go over here now, right? Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Moonshine Cave. Oh, here we go. Cave level. Here we go. Wait, is this the way? This has to be the way, right? 
end of the nature trail. No, so we... Are, are you pointing... Where are you pointing me? Are you pointing me to there? Okay, it's gotta be... The cave is supposed to be a little detour. Okay. Aha! Alright, it is. Alright, good. Man, this is a long detour. What's the weird breathing? Is that an enemy or is it just meant to fuck with me? Or is it the birds? Maybe the birds do that sound. Okay. It's just my dog, sorry. I'm streaming with the dogs in the room. It's you while you're breathing so loud. Please ban this chatter for three days. Tell Northern Lion what happened. What was that? Just kidding, no ban. So that time the uh, the unfocused flashlight uh, triggered them down. Hmm, okay. Alright. Sorry, I know I'm not really talking very much. Uh, the game isn't really giving me much to riff off of when we're in the combat sections. And then the conversations are pretty good uh, for, for like reactions and everything. But right now we're just doing combat. And um, I don't know. I'm kind of already a little bored of wandering through the forest with flashlight. I kind of want to run past them and everything. But I also don't want to miss anything. Nobody in Bright Falls seemed to know where Al was. But Rose... The waitress at the diner had seen him. From what Barry could tell, Al pretty much fell off the face of the earth when he left the diner. Rose was just the kind of fan that Al hated. But she really tried to help. She was smart, too. Knew a lot about what was going on in the town. Knew a lot about Al. Even knew who Barry was. Barry liked her. That was no big surprise. When it came to women, Barry and Al rarely saw eye to eye. Okay, Merrick, you might be onto something here. It is always Al when it's related to Barry, huh? Even here. That's a little sus, I gotta say. Hmm. Call me Al. If only you gave the Expanse the same amount of attention and care. You would like it. Because the reason you don't like it is because you don't understand it. See, chat? I can do it too. Alright, what's going on, music? Oh, it's a heavy dude. Oh, he's still not. Oh no, it's a different guy. All right, I'm I'm Oom. Um, the Great One, felled by lightning. Can it strike twice and kill this guy? Wait, flashlight does damage, doesn't it? No, not even a little bit. I thought it did a little bit of damage. I thought we killed one with a flashlight earlier. Melee him? I don't think you can. I don't think there is a melee. Oh shit, we just wasted a shotgun. Whatever. Maybe it's revealing him that does a bit of damage. Yeah, I thought that too. But I thought it would take too long to test. Oh my god, fucking hell. Wait, I dodged though. Okay, I don't understand. I was... I don't think I was that stamina there. I don't understand the... The parry dodge. I don't get it. Flare gun? What? A, you can't buy flare gun! What if I need it later? Oh, we're deep. The parry dodge? Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> he said to the person asking for clarification. The parry dodge! You know, the, 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 the well-timed dodge. 
The dodge hit makes it so you don't take damage, even though you would have if you hadn't hit the dodge button. Get the fuck back here, Alan. That one. Yeah, see, I did it there and it didn't work either. I don't understand it. You've already noticed your weapons get reset when the chapter changes. Use them or lose them. It's weird. It doesn't say first time chatter next to your name. Alright, that should be enough to get away. Just stun him with a flashlight! Aha! I figured it out. Seems legit. What difficulty level is it? It's on normal! We're not even on hard! Turn the corner, afraid of what the flashlight's beam might reveal. Suddenly, a roughly painted symbol of a torch glowed in the light. Behind it, hidden by a rock, sat a battered metal trunk. It was here for a reason. Packed with supplies, batteries, flares, ammo. They're cannon. You need to make it through the darkness of the night. Something left behind by someone who knew what I knew, and more. Hmm. How come we're never let it leaving caches of supplies behind for people to find? Why? Uh, because it doesn't let you pick hard mode until you've already beat the game on normal mode. It's one of those games. Hates telephones. God damn it. Um... I don't have any shotgun shells. Oh, what? There's a proximity to it? Will you complete it again on stream just so you can actually play on hard? No, we're just gonna play this once. If we can play Alan Wake 2 on hard, we will though. We're not really playing this game for the enjoyment of playing it, although I hope that I do. We're playing this game in prep for Alan Wake 2, and I'm hoping that this will also allow people, some people to to um, see what the first game was like before the sequel comes out on Friday. Because when a big release like that, it's, it's a fairly big release. I think some people are excited for it. Um, a lot of people will um, play it without even playing the first one. Okay, you know what? I don't care. Are you going to play the DLCs? If we have time, yes. Why am I not looking at the, uh, at the objective marker when I'm moving like this? Okay, why are you pointing me here? Oh, I can just go around! Okay, fucking hell. Shit, I'm sorry. My dad last saw this and thought, oh, impassable, it's a video game, there's no way around, find another way. Yeah, I can just climb around, god damn it. Meanwhile, earlier with the box... <laughs> Sorry, that was stupid to me. Agent Nightingale didn't want to be in Bright Falls. These little communities revolted him, and he didn't like the trees or the coffee. He now knew that impossible horrors lurked behind the storefronts and smiles. He desperately wanted to turn the car around and just drive until he passed out or ran out of road and booze. But he had a job to do. He had a rider to catch. <laughs> what? Where is this going? Uh, I wasn't killing them, by the way, because I don't have enough ammo to do so. Unless I wasted my my, my last flare. Um, so I just was running through because I knew I had to do that eventually anyway. Hope you're well, Anderson. I'm doing pretty pretty okay. Haven't been sleeping very well the past couple nights. Dreaming pretty much all night again. Huh. Shit.
I think that's Alice screaming at us to write from uh, next to the typewriter. Oh, okay. Are those zombies or UK teens? Come on, we gotta get moving. More of them coming. Oh, someone else knows. That flashlight's kid stuff. Oh. The flares will keep the bastards away. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but let's move. Ooh. I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. Oh, it's he McReady, we yeah. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Uh, Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. Uh, okay, not necessarily, though. Maybe not. All right, let's let. Okay, hold on. Then, if you think that, let's let them kill him, and then we'll take the gun. A attack our army friend, please. Why are they all on me? Oh, they can't attack him. Okay. Come on, wake! You better keep up. Coincidences in a Stephen King story? Okay, shoot! Shoot! Stairs, Wake. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, <laughs> no can do, Wake. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Pull them off, damn it. Oh, maybe he's right. Maybe he is the kidnapper. Just hit him. Hit him. What are you doing? A little longer. Scare him off. Get some light on those bastards. That'll keep them off us. Just a little longer. I almost got it. Okay, it's open. Move it or lose it. That's what I got for you. Joe, what I do? Soon. Oh, I see light over there. I'm just gonna run there. See you later. What could go wrong? This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's more flares here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. How how did Give you know? How did coming. you know? Does he know? Get with the program, Wake. Yeah, didn't you read it in your book? Can you land a shot? You're worse than I am. Oh no, they're climbing.
Oh, it's a big guy. Shoot this one. Oh, damn. Well, I'm having fun. Is this a pacifist challenge run? I don't have a gun, Chatter! I don't have a gun! Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the hell are you talking about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Oh, why didn't we just do- This time we lost the flashlight. Needs an editor? Yeah, for sure. I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come back here! He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I... Dude, you just picked up a page of On it. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign, and nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant until now. And that's why I use it as inspiration for my new book. So, so let me, uh, let me uh, translate uh, this into terms um, to, that my chat will understand. It seems like Alan Wake has the death note, but for the whole town. And he doesn't realize it yet. No manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. So he's really, he's really fucked things up. Now chat like, yeah, now chat will like it, yeah. Chat loves Willem Dafoe. I've never seen Death Note, by the way. I have seen the scene, though, where Akechi is just going to town writing in it. Like, like, oh man, he is just like, like, whoa, 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 like holy fuck. He is having fun. Oh, 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 oh. How did he get across here so fast? Or did he jump down? Maybe we could have jumped down. Could have shot him for sure. Oh, it's not a page! Rusty warning straps. It hurt like hell. I was stuck. Alright, well done, game. Well done. Well done. Man, I miss Rusty. Manuscript cage? Yeah, that's what uh, David calls his drafts. Yep. <laughs> Can I shoot them? Yeah. My that's a plus two! Come on! Do I have to shine the light on it to see it? Yeah, seems like it. Writing his uh, manuscript cages up in Castle Cage. Got his cage writing robe on. Here I go. Never suffering from writer's block. Always pumping out the content. Wait, does he have a police baton? How was the time off? Well, it was only time off from streaming. I got a lot of shit done. Like, that wasn't stream work. But, um... But, yeah. I know, I like streaming, so... I missed it. I usually do.
Alright, how does Flare Gun kill you, but Flare doesn't? What, 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 what's your balance like? Uh oh. Oh, god damn it. Oh, it worked. Alright, we're good. Because flares don't kill people, guns kill people. That's true. Ooh. What? The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. <laughs> <laughs> Someone chat said, I hope that, I generally hope all the work is going well. It's, yeah, it's going pretty well. Definitely the most productive run I've had in a while, but there was um, a, a pretty big problem at the beginning, but then uh, we got it resolved. I also, oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I also played some more Starfield, and I was right. If you do level up your energy weapons to level four, that burn that you get from the mining laser turns it into the best weapon in the fucking game. You still want to use other guns for longer range in some situations, and some weapons do have higher DPS on like, like weirdly lower health targets, but for higher health targets, like the Terramorphs, you, you just like, it stacks the burn so high that it just like literally melts them. It is the, it is the best weapon in the game. Someone talked about it in spoiler chat and I, and I po posted Captain Holt from, uh, from Brooklyn Nine-Nine going vindication. <laughs> uh, it is, it is the best, uh, it is the best weapon in the game. The best weapon on the, on the starships are the auto turrets, except that they fucking just sometimes, they just sit there with their turret arms crossed going, nope, we're not firing, nope, fuck you, nope, we're, we're not doing it, you have to do it yourself. Fuck you. Not working. No. I don't know what the fuck that's all about. Did you ever complete the side quest that was the museum tour? Yes. Oh, no, no, that's a that's a really long quest. No, I didn't I didn't finish it. I did do more of it though. I did some side quests. The side quests in the game are actually pretty good. I did a lot of the Mars um line, which was weird. I gotta say, it's it's simultaneously I think. I heard the plane fall. Shit. It made no sense. Wait, what? It was clear that it had just fallen here. When did but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. When did a plane fall? I don't remember a plane falling. I I heard a noise. Was that the noise? Okay, we're getting rid of, rid of the gunk. I I think that for the main story and a lot of the like storyline stuff that's happening in Starfield, it is their it is their, like, horrific writing. Some of the worst that Beth Bethesda has ever done. And for the dialogue on all of the, um, the Constellation Pals, it is some of the worst dialogue writing they've ever done. But when you're talking to just, like, random people on Mars especially, I feel like it's the best they've done. Like, just, just the background conversations, the, hey, I have a life here, I'm talking, and, and how the quests kind of overlap just a little bit in those areas. I feel like that's really well done. And you can you can end up losing yourself to some of those conversations and some of those side stories uh, pretty effectively. But then whenever it gets into anything close to main content, or even like a, like a I know it sounds like an oxymoron, but, but, but like a main side quest... Like, the Terramorph side quest is... I don't know if there's going to be a, a... I won't spoil it. I don't know if there's going to be, like, answers to these questions. But the Terramorph side quest is just actually brain dead. <laughs> it's just like, like, with with the stacking coincidences, there was a point where it happened and I wish I wouldn't have been streaming. Because it's like, it's so fucking stupid. <laughs> it's like... You're standing in front of the council having a meeting in my head. I'm going like, oh god They're gonna make something happen right now, aren't they? And then it happens and I paused it and I was like I felt like I was streaming and I like double face palm like I can't believe this shit. I can't believe it <laughs> Just like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> so like yeah, uh, it's it's really bad. But when it comes to the the dialogue in the in this in the side stuff that's comfortably away from anything that's main content, um, I feel like it, it actually is a, a pretty enjoyable time. You pause on your own too. Yeah, I, I didn't want to. I don't. I didn't want to miss a thing, man. I was Aerosmith, and I didn't want to. I don't want to miss anything that was going happening in that story. All right, what's what's this? What are we doing? Why are we doing this? Okay, and then we just step off, and we're good. Please spoil it. <sighs> okay, so okay, I'm spoiling the the um. Uh, it's. Is it the whole entire quest, or is it ha one that it turns into? The Vanguard quest line, the very first Vanguard quest line, sends you to this planet to check on some settlers. And when you get there, there is, um, I think her name is Hadrian. Hadrian is there, and and all the settlers are dead because a Terramorph is is has has arrived there and is is um has killed everyone. Now Terramorphs are interesting. Uh, but I don't think they're going to explain it well. I haven't gotten to how they explain it yet. Terramorphs, apparently, and, and I quote, just show up. <laughs> it, <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, I have a bad cough. Terramorphs just show up. So, if... if Humans live on a planet for long enough, a terramorphs just show up eventually. <laughs> and that's all they tell you. So so Hadrian is there and says, I swear to God, we need a sample of this terramorph because humans haven't been on this planet long enough for a terramorph to just show up yet. So this is weird and we need to know why it happened. <laughs> Usually humans have to be on a planet for way longer before the Terramorph just shows up. And they they don't know why or how the Terramorphs show up. Anyway, so first, coincidence number one. It is never, it hasn't been explained yet why Hadrian is is on, like, oh, sorry, well, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. So it turns out that, that Hadrian studied the Terramorphs and was part of... A, a scientific crew that was bio doing xenobiology like warfare in order to weaponize alien animals, terramorphs included, in the colony wars when um uh fucking uh the UC United Colonies was fighting against um the Free Star Collective, which is another absolutely brain that I can't be I can't believe Bethesda like had their own blank slate like game and they have all these decades of experience now and th and they built a world where oh so we're in the early stages of, of 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 colonizing space but you know what we're gonna do they had an agreement and they're not allowed to colonize more than three star systems after the pact of their fight and they're all sticking to it what excuse me what you're, you're not allowed to colonize more than three star systems that that's that's what you're going this is your brand new ip setting and you are, like, th this is what you're going with. Like, you're not allowed to colonize more than fucking three star systems. Otherwise, oh no, we're gonna have a fight. Anyway, so there was a colony war because someone wanted to have more than three star systems. So, um, they're allowed three each, and there was a big, a big war. And during the war, Hadrian was on the side of the UC United Colonies, and she was, was with a group that was trying to make xenobiology warfare, and they were trying to weaponize the Terramorphs in order to, um, to, to use them in the war and it turns out that they couldn't make it work and and as far as i know i haven't finished the quest yet i have done quite a lot of it as far as i know it is just an absolute just coincidence that hadrian just so happened to be on this planet where this terramorph was maybe she can sense them maybe she has a scanner she's she's just there and you you just you just walk into the space and someone who was on the team that was working on terramorphs is just is just there sus isn't it sus it is sus isn't it chatter we'll get to that in a second so you have to kill the terramorph which i did with my mining laser and um then then, <laughs> then you get a sample 
And then you have to take it to someone else who is on the team on Mars. And you have to do another quest line on Mars, which isn't a, best, a bad quest, actually. So you take it to Mars. And then the other guy who was on the team that did the Xenobiology does the sample and is like, yes, Hadrian's right. This this uh, Terramorph doesn't show the telltale signs of just showing up on other planets like they usually just show up. This Terramorph showed up in a different way. This is something new. Holy shit. You know what? The, we're going to have to have access to the, the Terramorph files in in the uc unity collective fucking archives and i'm like what's that and it's like yes since the colony wars were over fucking two or three decades ago no one has done any research on the terramorph since then even though at one point they showed up and destroyed a whole entire fucking planet no one no one has no one has ever done any more research on them what we need is access to the research that we did th 30 fucking years ago during the war that sealed as part of the treaty from the colony wars so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go to the to, to fucking new atlantis stand in front of the president of the united colonies and all of the fucking entourage that's there with hadrian who's a war criminal and convince them to open the fucking archives so we can look at that old research to figure out why this terramorph just showed up in a different way than all the other ones that just show up and then you do that and i swear to god chat i swear to god in the middle of that meeting in the middle of that meeting three terramorphs attack new atlantis and you go out and fight them and when you come back the president is like oh my god the threat is real we better open those archives for you <laughs> and no one no one thinks isn't it weird how this hadrian woman was just there when the terramorph attacked that planet isn't it weird that when they're trying to convince us that the terramorphs are a big threat and they need access to this like xeno war data that's classified and in in a in a treaty thing that that three terramorphs just so happened to attack during the meeting when they were trying to convince us that it's a really good idea to get in there huh kind of suspicious don't you think no 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 does it's not even brought up it's not even brought up. You, they're just like, yeah, you know what? We definitely need this, this access to this archives. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go and convince two of the other leaders in order to get into the to the archives. You have our vote, but you need you need a vote from the Free Star Collective uh, ambassador and the Veyrune whatever ambassador. Who's who? I, I, oh my god! So you go to the Free Star Collective one, and she's like, hmm, yeah, I know Terran Warship's attack, but fuck it, I don't, I'm not gonna give it to you. And then convince uh, popped up, and I hit the one that said yeah nah come on can i have it though and i hit that twice and she said yeah okay whatever you can do it and then that was it and then the veyrune ambassador is in the basement underneath the united colonies embassy and no one has seen him for like 20 30 years they've sent spies in sometimes and they think maybe he's dead because he's the only one there and his tree has like grown out of control and is releasing like like spores through the place and you have to like go through and find out if he's alive or dead in order to get his key to access the embassy and the uh, the, the the archives and then you get it and then you go back and you give it to hadrian who by the <laughs> Who, by the way, before you go and meet the president, just casually drops that she's a clone. <laughs> of, of, like, one of the big three top generals of the United Colonies that got executed for war crimes. <laughs> And then, okay, I, w I won't go. I won't go further than that. But that's about as far as I've gotten. Okay, I don't know what happens at the end of that. Maybe they explain why. But 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 yeah, I don't. I, oh my god, it's it's already stupid because if it turns out that this is all just some cunning plan for them to get the xenomorph data and they planned this right and they made that terramorph show up on that colony planet and they made those terramorphs attack um, United Colonies so they could get access to the data then like it's stupid that no one at any point like brought up that up and it was like wait hold on this seems a little convenient don't you think but if they don't do that then it's also brain dead that just as they're having that meeting three terramorphs attack <laughs> new atlantis and you have to go to the fucking parking lot and kill them <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, so that that's it. Sorry, sorry for the Starfield interlude. Oh my god, it's so fucking stupid. But everything else to do with uh, with the side quests that aren't like like big main quests like that um, are actually pretty good. Like I think that uh, the, the 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 dialogue writing and the character writing is actually pretty good on it. Oh my god. But what did the file say? You can't, you can't, you can't, oh my god, you can't, you can't read them, you can't read them. Just, okay, I'll spoil, I'll spoil the end, I'll spoil more of it, okay? The, Hadrian says, I'm the clone of this, of this guy, I can't remember his name. What's his name, chat? Someone in chat knows his name. He has, he has a weird name. Who's, who's the, the, the clone, who is she the clone of? Jeff? Vevictus. She's the clone of, of Ve, Vevictus, okay? Vevictus, you learn about him in the, in the museum piece, okay? Vevictus did something horrible at the end of the, end of the war, and Freestar Collective demanded he was executed, and, and you find out that she's a clone of Vevictus, and Vevictus is dead, and she kind of calls him, uh, her dad, and they cloned him a lot because, like, everyone knows that she, that they, they cloned him because it wasn't a secret. They cloned him a lot because he was just so brilliant that they wanted more of him running around, and then they executed him, and then, you know, after you find out that she's the, a clone of him, and kind of, like, in, in a way, uh, her, her, uh, sorry, his, his daughter, um, they, they take you downstairs into the basement and, and they have him in prison and they didn't kill him, they faked it. <laughs> like, it fucking instantly after introducing this whole concept, it's like, hey, you go, come downstairs and see him. Come in, come in, here he is. And he speaks at you through the glass. And somehow in his space prison, he's still like pulling all these strings and he just, and he can just find criminals from within his web. And sometimes he like, he sends agents out to dispatch them for the UC because he has his uses and he has a quest for you. And, and he, and he does that. Like, it's, but anyway, after, so Hadrian doesn't know that Vevictus is alive, and then you find out Vevictus is alive, and you go back up to the Karen upstairs that sent you down there, and you say, well, I'm gonna tell Hadrian, and you can't stop me, and she's like, well, I can put you in prison, but you're right, I can't stop you, and then you go to Mars, and you go back to the laboratory that's there, after you find out about this, and she's really hard to find in the lab, almost like they tried to dissuade you from trying to find her, and you can't tell her. You can't tell her he's alive. Like, maybe you can tell her after you do more of the quest or whatever, but right now it won't let me tell her that I just tried to quick save it because I hit F5 trying to quick save it because I, we were talking about Starfield. You, you, you cannot tell her that her dad's alive yet. It's been 84 years. I'm sorry if you don't give a fuck about Starfield, but oh my god, that quest line was so funny. You're talking to the president being like, you don't understand the Xenomorph threat is real. The terror threat is real. We have to, we have to do it. I don't believe you. And then suddenly, er, 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 red lights, shutters fall down on all the windows behind them. Wait, what is it? Madam President, there's Terramorphs attacking the fucking starport. Oh my god, you better you you guys know more about terror than anyone. You better go out there and fight the red. <laughs> All right, where are we going? We're going here. Why? Why are we doing the plane? <laughs> and the Terramorphs just show up. Uh, I hope you can go to Londinian. Where is that? I would like to see that. I bet you you can't. That's too too interesting a place. I would love to go to Londinian. Apparently that's where um the uh oh there's nothing to do with the plane. Apparently that's where the a city that was completely overrun by Terramorphs. They just show up. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, I have a bit of cough. You missed the supply cache at the wing of the plane, by the way. Oh, did I? I thought... Wait, I got one that was on the, on the cliff. I, I, I looted it, didn't I? Is that the one you're talking about, or was there another one? Uh... How do you decide what you're playing next? Do you have a schedule or something? Usually, we kind of just decide as a, as a group uh, what we're playing next. There is a voted list uh, a voted list for streams that you can go and see on uh, on Discord if you'd like, uh, but we don't stick to it all the time. We will get to all of them eventually, but um, we don't stick to the list. Reason why we're playing this is because the sequel's coming out on Friday, and it looked interesting to me when we saw the trailer on one of the the game award things. The voter list has never been expected. We knocked a lot out this year. What are you talking about? 
It's not my fault that it's taking so long that all the games that are on there keep getting remakes uh, announced in the future. I mean, I say it's not, but it is. Is the Game Jam stream still, still going to happen? I think so, yeah. I think we were going to do it... Uh, I don't know if we're going to do it during this w uh, stream thing, when we're back, or after the next one. But if we can do it in one or two streams, I would like to do it um, after Alan Wake 2, I think. I think I have a DM from Sistorian on uh, Kick on uh, on Jads right now. I didn't check my DMs today. I just saw them. When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him <clears> a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on Crank. Somehow the world had changed. Crank? The channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. Uh-oh. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised. Just terrified. Uh-oh, the bird. Bur I hope Barry's okay. Are you still gonna YouTube? I miss you a lot. Yeah, I, I, there's gonna be at least one video this year. And if there isn't, then, um... Then there's not gonna be anything more. Not even streams. I'm done. But it should happen. Most horror stories involving birds are silly. Are they? I don't know. Do you think people would be able to, like, bat birds away? Why am I doing this? Is this important or what? I could punch a bird, but then why is fighting type weak to flying type? Be aware of widowmakers. Uh oh. The darkness wears her face. Alice? Some birds get tutorial, t territorial and, and swoop. Not fun time. Yeah, I think uh, I think even a small small birds have pretty pretty sharp talons and beak, right? I think they could do some damage to you. Like a small bird isn't gonna kill you. Like you might die from infection afterwards, but like they're, they're gonna be able to hurt you. Are you enjoying the game? Um. Yeah, I'm enjoying the game. I think I'm enjoying the game. Uh, I'm not loving the game. But I'm enjoying the game. Shadow stirred and the wind picked up as I ran through the forest. I felt the dark presence turning its gaze toward me. Then the moonlight was blotted out by dark shadows that raced violently across the ground, moving too swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. The Taken? Do you notice the map is reused from that event another time during the main quest? It was clearly made for the attack. Yeah, I, that that would solve the mystery that we happened on stream. That was like, like what, what the hell? This is so weird. Like, And then, yeah... That was, um, I don't think that's good at all. Honestly, it didn't even really make sense in that one either. We're talking about Starfield for, for one of the quests, by the way. It reuses the state in New Atlantis for, for something else. What if I have a little bit of a cold? I feel fine. I just have a cough. I've been coughing yesterday and the day before, too. Will you play or maybe even stream Phantom Liberty? Um... I will play it for sure. I don't know if I'm going to stream it. What? Oh, is he not knocked down? Oh, he wasn't. Shit. I thought he was. I like that you can still point the flashlight while you're reloading. I had bronchitis earlier this year. It was just a cough that wouldn't go away. I wonder if I had that when I was a, when I was a teenager then. One of the one of the most, <laughs> uh, uh, livid times that I was, uh, or vivid times that I was livid with my parents growing up was when I was a teenager, and I had a cough that just wouldn't go away for a whole entire year, and I just kept coughing, and my parents kept saying, "Yeah, we get it. You want us to quit smoking. You don't have to keep doing your sarcastic fucking cough over and over and over again. When you know, stop coughing, stop coughing." And I kept saying to them. I'm not like I'm. I'm not coughing because you guys smoke so much. I, I have a cough. 
Like, it's just like, and I really did have a car. I, was, I wasn't doing a bit to make them feel bad about their smoking. Like, <laughs> but they were absolutely convinced that I was doing it to annoy them because they were smoking. Oh, man. And then the cough just went away. <coughs> now I have to cough. Sorry. <coughs> I laughed too hard and it, uh, and it hurt my throat. I think I said that on stream once before, didn't I? About the about the, the coughing thing. Maybe it was only six months. I don't know if it if it was that long. It was a fairly long time though. Your parents sound like assholes. Now they were just British parents. That's just how British parents are. Oh, then I heard the chainsaw. What are these teeth? Okay, do I have to use a battery? Oh, he's dead. Okay. I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult than it was. Okay. I feel like Evil Within did this better. Evil Within's gameplay was actually pretty good. It had a lot of stuff in its levels, like traps. In my maybe it wasn't as good as I'm remembering, but I remember like moving through some vaguely interesting areas. I liked having to like drop the the matches on the zombies and stacking them up to save fire. It had some interesting ideas. I liked Evil Within. Not my favorite game, but it's pretty good. I think the gameplay in Evil Within One was better than Evil Within Two. Evil Within 2 had an interesting open world kind of thing going on, but I think Evil Within 1 was better. I hope it didn't spoil anyone on Starfield with that bit. I hope if anyone um, was uh, didn't want it they to hear it, they they stepped away. It wasn't the main thing. And I, don't, and I don't know the conclusion to that quest, so. Better than Silent Hill? I'm not a big Silent Hill fan, so to me, Evil Within is better, yeah. Ow, the porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What, am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. What the fuck Silent Hill is an 88 on IMDB? IMDB rates games? Silent Hill 1... I still had to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Oh, we're going back now? Silent Hill 1 feels more like a uh, like a proof of concept than a, than a full game to me. And I think it's a pretty good proof of concept, but it doesn't feel like it's a it's a fully fleshed out thing. Silent Hill 2 does, but, uh, you know, Silent Hill 2 is, is, is it's okay, it's good. I was making an expansion show. Oh, okay. I, I knew that, and I was just playing dumb to make you feel awkward, Expanse Hater. So what's going on right now? We th oh, there's so many birds. So we think that we we caught the killer and or the kidnapper, and now we're just going back. I feel like we're not. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster, and the headlights were a welcome bonus. Oh, okay. Do you think birds are scary? I think birds are weird. I don't think birds are scary. Guns can't break wood. There's a padlock on it, isn't there? Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm just seeing things. A story is not a machine that does what you tell it. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Uh-oh. Oh no! Nothing. 
nothing here? Okay. Well, he can just stay here then. The FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it. But it felt all wrong. The cold instinct, his posture, the way he held the gun. He was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Uh oh. Is that is that still the con, or is that you know the guy we met in the uh, in the woods? How was he okay in there with the light on? Was he hiding like behind the door or something? Did you play the PT demo? PT demo? I did not know. Why are the, the bat this the battery is gonna be dead on this car, Alan? Someone left their lights on. Enter the vehicle. Yeah, I know. Okay, I think this is probably a good time for uh, a break. We're above four hours, so we try to take a break every two hours. I think we'll come back at least for another hour, maybe two, and we'll see. Um, with the Starfield uh, interlude, we we need to we need to pick it up. Deadline, Joe. Deadline, Joe. Anyway, be back. Five minutes. Get up if you didn't see the whole time. Get a drink. Get some water. Alan. All right, let us uh, push push through. Let's do another episode this stream at least. Do we get to drive? Oh no! Can I get out? Oh, the car has a health... Oh, shit. here already no oh man there could be so many pages hanging about oh we can get into a different car oh wait what Sorceresses? Oh, oh no. This is not the way, is it? Is there anything down here to get? Eh, let's just go. I don't know. I don't want to search the whole entire area for, for pages. Aww. Well, I'm having fun. My fault for crashing the car, though. hope Barry doesn't say something like, hey, you gotta bring a car here to drive me out. Wait, was all this fucked up when we were here before? Hmm. 
No, it wasn't like this, was it? was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Okay, where are they? Oh. All right. See what I mean? Like, I want, I want to like buy into the vibe of all the conversations kind of being weird and dreamlike, but then the music keeps cutting in and out and not working properly. Haha. It was the kidnapper. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. Oh, I was still him? need to write the ending. I need a week. Not done? <laughs> I need a week. Wait, wait, wait! The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I uh, <laughs> Wait, and now he's gonna go to Alice and be like, oh, we can't make the trade, he has to finish the fucking manuscript. And she's like, oh, god damn it, yeah, he's still not done, is he? Oh, well, 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 we'll settle in. I'll go get us, uh, I'll go do another McDonald's run. Uh, a couple more movies? What, what, are you comfy? What do you want? Uh, <laughs> like, like, what, what are they doing for, like, fucking, like, two days? Why does it matter if it's done or not, Wake? Like... Oh, this, this is not the way, is it? That's the way. I guess I used the typewriter. Did, did, did you hear clacking phone. in the background? The darkness controls the Taken. So the wife is the Taken, right? Who Who's writing this? How did they reach far enough to write that? Cardboard box. Ow! Ow, I am so glad you're here. A couple of them got in here before I blocked the chimney. This isn't normal. These birds are weird. Oh man, Barry's actually thinking oh wait he didn't all right just let's go through here okay What are some phobias you have? I don't know if I have any phobias. I have some fears. Most are pretty common. Uh, for spiders, snakes, you know. But I, I can I can handle a spider. Um, I don't know if I can handle a snake. Maybe. Finishing projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember I, I feeling weird about um, I, I didn't expect to make this me feel so uncomfortable, but uh, rigor mortis freaks me out. There have been pets that we've had that have, that have died over the years, and there's something really disturbing about that to me. I don't know why. I wasn't expecting to have that strong of a reaction to it, but it, it was pretty disturbing. I'm... I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. I sent Barry to the town to ask around about a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. 
I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. It's Barry. He's planned this whole thing just to get us writing. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll uh, be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Yes, seems, seems legit. Have a great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old old dear diner. Good girl. Oh man, she really wants that manuscript. Previously on Life is Strange. Come here. Can you tell me where I am? Need to get I can't talk, it's gonna get the MCA. I can't talk. Was this released episodically, or is this just a style thing they're going for? Someone chat is asking you the same thing too, yeah. No, it's a style thing? Okay. Oh, this is a very 90s song. I like it. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. All right. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? He said, lying. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true. And get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single- And they called us- they called us Tom earlier. The Andersons. Hmm... ...thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Um, wasn't like half the town... Like, guns and like cars crashed and like... But we're still getting called for the... Like, FBI wants to see... Okay, what's going on? Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Uh-oh. Do you have volcano insurance? That's how they get you. No one no one thinks to include and splurge on the volcano insurance. And you then you regret it. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, 
drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook store. They were roommates. The Scratch and Hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. This area looks nice. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Oh, that's it. Okay. All right. Sorry, I keep expecting the game is going to talk more. And it doesn't. Welcome to... To... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. Uh... Hey, this is really good. How, how did we get to coffee with Rose. her like this? Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! What? What? FK in the coffee. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Zane? I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. <gasps> Back to work, boy. <sighs> I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do, about the complex incantation I'm attempting, about this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Hmm, okay. Where's this going? Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Ooh, thermos. A day? You, you've been like Barry this for out. a day? He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> Barry's dead, bro. All right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. Mm, First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Hmm. She's acting kind of similarly than uh, than the ghosts do. How they're reciting parts of their lives just kind of twisted a little bit. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. 
Joe, you ever had writer's block? How do you deal with it? Writer's block is not a real thing. Sometimes motivation is harder to get than others, and sometimes writing is harder than other times. If that's what you're talking about, okay, sure, that, that can be described as writer's block, but a lot of times people describe writer's block as like, oh, I can't I can't write, I have writer's block, it's such a fucking hassle, I just can't do it. That, that's, no. Just sit down and write. Not a real thing. Ooh, new one. Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Just stop being depressed. Depressed is not the same as writer's block, though. Like, depression is obviously a real thing. But that's not writer's block. Okay, then finishing the Witcher 3 video should be easy, right? I, I've been really up front that that's not the problem. There's no Witcher 3 video editing block or anything either. Just because you don't have it doesn't mean it's not real. Okay. Are we going to fight on the way out of here? I don't have a gun. I don't have a flashlight either. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you. Oh, shit. I meant, are we going to fight in the game? Not, are we going to, me and Chad are going to fight. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Calmer, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well... I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah. Yeah. I killed him. I like the difference in their voices here. It, like the, the the radio guy is clearly smooth, knows how to present himself and talk. With the other guy, it sounds kind of out of his element and frazzled. That was pretty well done. Well, hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? Ironically, back when you made the long Patreon post, when you talked about writer's block not being a real thing. I remember writing that one, yeah. It changed the way I approached writing because it felt like writer's block was an excuse to not write instead of putting the time to work through whatever I was having trouble writing. Literally wrote my first book years later because, because of that mindset. Oh, congratulations. Hope you're happy with it. Yeah, I'm not trying to say that you can never have trouble writing and that sometimes it's harder to, to you know, get juice out than, uh, no, that's, oh my god, uh, than, um, than others. Like, sometimes it's difficult, yeah, but... A lot of people look at that and just be like, oh, you know, I'm a writer, therefore I have that thing called writer's block, and therefore I just can't do it. Yeah. I just can't do it, man. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play eight hours of video games instead. You know, it's, it's just, it, it's not a thing, man. If you can't write because you're depressed, then that's because you're depressed. It's not because you have writer's block. Is George R. R. Martin depressed? I have no idea what George R. R. Martin's problem is. I don't know what Patrick Rothfuss's problem is. I know what my problem is. Hubris. It's usually hubris, yeah. I guess you could argue executive dysfunction is what I experienced. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know what that is. Sorry. But it could be, yeah. Like I could, I could look it up and be like, yeah, that's that sounds like that sounds like a plausible thing, yeah. But I don't want to say yes or no without knowing what it is. Sorry. You're just hanging oh, out here. You're gonna get it now. Why? 
God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. <laughs> you move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Yeah, dude, what are you doing? I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Yes. Okay, I'm giving up. Yep, I'm giving up. Here we go. Yep. Hey, I'm coming to you. Please arrest me. Hello. Hi. Yes. I'm. 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 I'm, I'm unarmed. Yep. Oh. Okay. With the kidnapper. All right. Sorry, but that's not what the writer said. Yeah, this is the real writer's block. All right, let's run. Okay, men, keep your eyes peeled. He's gonna try to make it through here. Oh no! Oh, now the light is dangerous to me. You think your thoughts on writer's block applies to academic writing as well? Sometimes I think it can be really difficult to form difficult to formulate and explain something that and that can be a block. Okay, so let me let me say a final thing on this because I feel like maybe I'm coming across as too harsh. All right, so there are definitely going to be times in your life when you are having trouble doing something, but once when people start to call that something like writer's block or something in that area. It is almost always them just not taking accountability for something that they can't do. That if they forced themselves or had more discipline, they would be able to get through it. If that's not what's happening and you have like a really big problem in your life or you're, you're suffering depression or you, something on that level, then okay. But that's not writer's block. That's, that's, that's something else that's getting in the way. Do you understand? And that's the problem. Not this like vague kind of ambiguous like oh i would want to do it but for some reason god has decided that i can't you know what i mean like, like f fate and the world has just decided you just can't do any writing today that that doesn't happen that's what i'm talking about and that's almost always what i hear people say when they mean writer's block you know if you are not talking about that if you are saying writer's block and that is just a term that you're using as a stand-in for I'm suffering from depression or, you know, there's a lot going on in my life right now. And for the reason I just, I just cannot get my head clear and be in a good space in order to do some writing. Okay. But that's not writer's block. Is it? That's, that's something causing it above that. You know what I mean? That's what I mean. Okay. And yeah, obviously that can apply to a lot of different other things whenever you want to, uh, to get anything done. George R. R. Martin has no writer's block. He just proves to write anything that's not new wins a winter. <laughs> Again, I don't know anything about George R. R. Martin's uh, uh, situation, and I also don't give a shit about A Song of Ice and Fire, so like I don't care. He's gone. Come on, guys. We need to head him I off. look forward to re to reading what uh, Sanderson ends the series with. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? So no, no other writer lived or came here. It's like a, a right, the, the creative conduit that writers tap into, you know, or writers of, 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 a, of a good enough standing to get into a good, like, muse, you know, connection. Just boom, we want them. Hmm. Okay. I'd rather die than have Sanderson finish A Song of Ice and Fire. Really thought people like Sanderson. Some people really don't like him. I've heard he's quite a, a technical writer when it comes to explaining things. A lot of readers prefer to remain intangible, like magic systems and stuff. I actually like it when that shit's kind of explained most of the time. Depends on what you're, what the story's trying to do. 
But yeah, but some people really don't like him. Was no one in here? In terms of situations like Wheel of Time when the author passes away, do you think another writer should finish the series? Mm. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I would say an argument could be made that another writer should finish this series, even if the the writer who died, like explicitly said that they didn't want that to happen if they died before it was done. Because at that point, the original writer is dead, and I think that the the audience deserves something. I think. And the writer's dead, so who cares? Okay, what is going on down there? Am I supposed to be able to see something, Chad, or is it just noise? This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. <laughs> well, was that a real take? Yeah, like I don't, I don't know. Maybe this is. Maybe as I get older, I will, I will change my mind. I don't know, but I, I feel like. Once you're dead, I don't give a shit about you anymore. Like, and I don't mean that sounds cold. I'm trying to be a little crass because that's how I am. Like, usually I'm pretty blunt. I don't, I don't care. Like, once you're dead, who cares? Like, like you don't know. I don't think there's any afterlife or anything. So, so to me, there's, there's nothing to gain at all. You know, like if there's a family involved and it was more of a family thing, and it's like, you know, we, I really want my, my father's wishes as a writer to be respected. It's really important to me. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay, now we're getting into an area that now it's kind of like a debate. It's an argument. Okay, whatever. But like, let's just make it clean for the sake of argument because I, I want to like, like show the, the, the core of my, of my position. Like, if there was a writer who had no family, n no one's being left behind, like, that's it. It's just writer and work. And they say, I don't want anyone to finish this once I'm dead. Once they're dead, I don't. you don't exist anymore, so I don't give a fuck. So if there's enough people that want that finished, and they can get someone to finish it, and it's going to be a, a, a source of good in their life, I think they should do it. I, I, I don't care. I really don't care. What does this mean for copyright? I, I don't think copyright should extend that far after the person dies. Maybe it should even end at the point of death. Again, I don't want to say exactly at the point of death because, you know, there are institutes or whatever, or like, um, oh, what's it called? Estates, you know, the, the, maybe and also copyright can be sold off a little bit. I don't know. But pretty much, yeah, after the point of death, there's, there's a, a very strict timer that is ticking down on the copyright thing for me. Yeah, for sure. Would you use silver for riders? Absolutely, yes. Monsters, all of them. Man, this is amping up, huh? What? Why? What did we do? What on earth did we do? You on the ground. Hold it right there. There's nowhere to run. Freeze! Uh... Oh. Didn't we take them down with a flashlight? They have a spotlight. There's no way. Really? Well, they suck. Wouldn't that just be fanfiction if someone continued it? Well, yes and no. Um, if the publisher is on board, or a major publisher is on board, it would probably be the same publisher that would go, f go for it. Then I think that would make it more official. Uh, the same happened with Robert Jordan and, and Sanderson. That's why I said the joke with Sanderson. Is Sanderson finished Wheel of Time after Robert Jordan died. I don't, is, uh, do people condescendingly call Sanderson's ending fanfiction? Probably, yeah, maybe. Let's see this helicopter crash. Ooh. Where's Ryuji? Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. 
Speaking of which, that Fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of load of scotch about him, you know what I mean? Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in and take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh, Fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Mulligan out. Mulligan over. If you died tragically, would Lily continue to work on the Witcher 3 video? Uh, no, Lily wouldn't be able to do that. Lily might be able to hire someone to do that if it wasn't for the biometric scanner I have implanted in my heart that if I ever do die, it will cause my computers to explode. So, no one's going to be able to, uh, to finish it, sorry. We're going there, aren't we? It was a long recovery process after getting that installed, you know. Probably the amount of time, you know, being bedridden. I probably just could have finished it, but... It was important to me, having that contingency. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. Just climb over? Easy, easy, just climb over. Do, 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 do. Oh, sh. If there's an afterlife, will you continue working on the Witcher 3 video after you're dead? I, I mean, if there's a hell and I go there, yeah. <laughs> there was no power to the searchlight. What, what, who put this here? Yeah, it's the same one! Nice! One of the uh, the hardest times I've made Lily laugh. Um, we were having a really, really bad day, and like Moncton and the kids were to blame. The old Mostly Moncton. Out. I'd have to see if I could fix it and try again. And we're, we're sitting there. Kick it! Just kick it, that'll fix it! And I said to Lily, oh, no one's gonna find this funny. Like it was this is this is mostly for me and Lily. Why did I tell this story? And I said to Lily, uh, and I said, Do you think maybe we didn't survive the plane ride over here? <laughs> anyway, she she found that very, very funny. <laughs> I hope someone finds that at least a little funny. Uh, <laughs> Alright, come on, it's gonna work now, right? Do I need to run? Alright, let's move it. Why didn't we aim it beforehand? Alright. If your dad in FromSoft releases The Witcher 5, can someone make a Joseph Anderson analysis video on it to continue the series? I mean, I, I guess so. I don't know why they would, would want to. I don't know where that comes in with like branding and copyright or whatever. I guess it depends on if my family's doing anything with it. Cause then again, that comes back to the, the idea of, um, of, a, of an estate and everything and how that gets handed down. That I'm unsure of how that would work or whatever, or if there would even be one of those in my case. But I mean, no one's gonna wanna do that. They'll just make their own shit, right? Joseph Anderson isn't even your name. It's not his name. And here come the people in chat. Wait, what? It's not? Wait, what? Question, question mark. Three question marks in a row. That's when you know someone's really confused, is when it's just three. What? My real name is Hadrian, I'm a clone. Yeah, flashlight, it just, it's just left on. Okay, game's getting pretty weird. How's Alan Wake? It's okay. It's okay to good. It's got some interesting things going on, but I feel like the gameplay parts are too long. Um, a moment to recognize the flashbang too long. grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. Team one, come in. Over. Team one, this is Sheriff Breaker. Report. Over. Do you have anything planned for the 10 years Witcher 3 anniversary? <laughs>
wonder if it would be better if you could just kill them with light. Like, just just have a flashlight instead of a instead of a gun. Maybe they tried that and it was there wasn't enough. All right, I'll throw a flashbang. Crashed. I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, uh, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, thanks. Uh oh. If I just run back here now, they're all despawn, right? Oh, sh sugar bobbins. Oh, okay. How much longer are you going to stream? Um, I could go for another 90 minutes. I don't think I'm going to. Maybe half an hour. See how we are and see where we are in half an hour. 7 o'clock my time used to be the hard cutoff, but now it's 8 because the girls go to bed later now. Which is a really good change. Not for streaming, uh, for, for them. Oh, the range on those are, are really strong. How come they don't set, uh, like, fuck our eyes up? Trust no one in the dark. How many machines is this going to be? I have no idea. But we're playing Alan Wake 2 on Friday, so hopefully we can get it done by then. Uh, with some of the DLC as well. So if you're not here for the Alan Wake arc, then, uh, there might not be much for you for streaming for a while, sorry. Walk in light. Walk without rhythm and you won't attract the worm. I hope the second one is more enjoyable when it comes to the gameplay sections and everything, because right now this is just filler between the story. I'm kind of being a bit too quiet, I'm sorry. Usually when we stream, I try not to stop talking, but. Uh, I don't know. A bit tired, maybe. Out of practice, I don't know. Feeling like maybe I was a little too, a little too blunt with my "once you're dead, I don't give a fuck about you" take. <laughs> All right, where are we going? Follow, follow the yellow. All right, what's that over there? All right, do these lights count as healing? Probably not, actually. What if I just turned the flashlight on myself and just like ran it up and down? Oh, I am regaining some health, but maybe that's not because we're light. Maybe it just happens. What do you think about the graphics? I think one is one of the most impressive looking games uh, of that generation. Well, we're playing the remaster, so I don't, I don't, I can't judge. I heard it was a pretty good looking game at the time, though. Yeah. And Alan Wake 2 looks like it's uh, keeping up that trend. The system requirements on that are pretty hefty. I don't know if we're going to be able to max that out on Friday. Oh, we're going to the radio station! Oh, nice. We're going to be on the show. Why was he invincible? 
hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. What, I wonder if it's a result of Lamayo optimizing, get a better PC. No, that was Starfield. That was Starfield. To me. Oh, well, okay, FBI's coming. They know where you are. Let's go. Uh, it looks like Mr. Wake is going to need a moment. Oh, I'm so glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. I'm sorry. What did he do? Write bad books and you're mad? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. What the hell's the matter with you? There's a civilian in there. You don't understand. I need that Witcher 3 video right now. He said on stream that if he dies, someone else can make it. Need to take him down. What did I do? I off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book the sudden stop. It was probably good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Fucking hell, what did we do? Gale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Uh, that, that's a cool way of, of showing you what happened in there after uh, after you left. Okay, should we stop here or keep going? I feel like we should keep going. Especially if we have to play the DLC. I'm worried we're gonna have to play the control DLC. Oh man. sensible reason for the power company work lights to be here. It was almost as if they'd been left for someone like me to use. We ever gonna explain that? Ever gonna be explained? No? Well you see if you get to page 250 and you realize that, you're, that your main character needs some uh, workers electric company searchlights, uh, you can go back to page 50 and give him some. Oh okay, thank you. Shotgun. Oh shit. Do I get light my light back? My health back in the light or what? Do you have to play Alan Wake 2 on release? You could hold off a few days. Yeah, I guess I could hold off a couple days if we want to go over and make sure that we're finishing the DLC and everything. But um it's not so much that I'm fr I frantically want to play on a release. I uh I I, I, I want to go back to the, the video work and make sure I have time to get everything done. It's crunch mode. Oh, that's how he got up here. They explained it. Video on what? Did I just get stabbed in the back, Leon? 
Do you think this game would be a lot better if they just removed the gameplay? No, I think it is going on a little bit too long. Just not that many interesting ideas, unfortunately. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where, Where is Alan life? Wake? Where is Alan Wake? Why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Ooh, do the feds not know what's going on here? A writer is never allowed to come in here, because otherwise it's going to cause trouble. We play the control DLC that screams, this is the Alan Wake crossover. If we have time and chat thinks it's important enough, yeah. Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Oh, good. They're addressing it. Thank you. Yeah, she sounded completely wrong, like way too calm for someone who was going through that, especially with like a phobia of being in the dark. All right, cool. Nice one, game. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. All these interruptions with like the radio and the TV as well, like it would they would function well if they played automatically or filled in the time when you're running around doing the gameplay. But instead, they, they stop and then you resume it. Maybe they, the gameplay was a little too hectic for that, so maybe the gameplay should be even even lighter or more puzzly instead of instead of uh, combat-y, and then you could listen to this and enjoy it while you're doing it. Hmm. That's not a perfect answer, but I think there's there's something better in that area, maybe. Audio logs that force you to pause. Right? Yeah, in, in both ways. Uh, I hate it when you pause and you have to listen to it, but I also hate it when you are listening to it and you think you can walk forward and then it turns out, no, there's like another thing that talks ahead of you and fuck, now you have to go back and play it. Oh shit, where was I? Which one was it? Let's open the menu, scroll down. Fuck, which one was it? All right, can I move it ahead? Is there a slider for the... Like, like a lot of the times, even in games, when the, the game allows you to listen to an audio log while you're still walking around, I still will stand still after I hear it just in case um i think fallout 4 is probably one of the better ones for that where you can just listen to it on the pip boy as you wander around if you're safe if you feel confident there's no npc around What side of the clone fucking debate are you on? Uh, hopefully not the receiving end. I prefer this than what Atomic Heart did, which was all the story and exposition between the MC and the AI for like 10 minutes while you walk from place to place and being attacked by 30 robots. I didn't get that far into Atomic Heart, so I, I don't know. I can't judge against that. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. But Joe, you're always on the receiving end. Maybe on Twitch. But on OnlyFans. Where's the critters? We should get back to Atomic Heart. I was enjoying what I was seeing. There was enough immersive sim in the Atomic Heart that I was like, hmm, I wonder where this was goes. Stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. I wish we had more immersive sims. Pretty so good. Whoa. 
We might have to use the battery here, chat. We might have to use the battery. Opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. This is the checkpoint. You didn't even get to the proper side of Atomic Heart's gameplay loop for better or worse. Yeah, I, I feel that too. Yeah, we were still pretty early on. That first dungeon though is pretty big. Assuming there are more like that. That vault dungeon underground thing. Remember the level in Indigo Prophecy when the furniture starts attacking you? How could I forget? It's burned into my memory. Do you know how many times it took me to do that the first time I played it when it came out? Oh my god. I was so scared to do that live on, on stream because I thought I was going to fuck it up over and over and over again. And it was taking over everything in its path. The moment, still not the moment. One of my biggest regrets is during that that uh, that scene out in the street that I didn't fuck up the last PT. Honestly, more shit like this would be fun, where you have to look at the environment and use the light on stuff in the environment instead of always the same kind of dudes that are running at you. Oops. Oh, we just could have left. I only played the demo, but in terms of immersive sim, Fortune's run seemed pretty promising, and it just recently released. Fortune's run, never heard of it. Can you link it to me on on um, on Discord? What's the other game that looked kind of immersive simmy? Was it is it Gloomwood or something? By the same people that made uh oh I can't remember what the name of the game is. We played it. It was pretty good on stream. Fuck, what was it? Gloomwood. What else did they make? They made um Dusk. Yeah, they do they have a, a link to Dusk or is it the same? Same person or what? Dusk was fun. Yeah, Gloomwood looks interesting. I slammed the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Uh, okay. Did they ask about if we need a better globalized government? We ever play your turn to As die? A teenager, indie just started like getting interested nope. in writing. Never. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that I think Stephen King was a source of inspiration for people who made this game too. Come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. That's Alan Wake and uh, Richard Castle from the show Castle that are both kind of kind of Stephen King area, but also say they're inspired by Stephen King at the same time. Switch to heavy duty flashlight. All right, why would I ever not want the heavy duty flashlight? What about a reverse thing around a social link game where an AI tells you what you want to hear? That sounds fun. Do feel like they learned a lot about the way the interruptions change the game flow of, for Quantum Break, uh, with most of the text collectibles being in-world items you take the time to inspect in the location? Is Quantum Break worth playing? I heard that game wasn't very good, but maybe it has some cool ideas. I do enjoy playing a lot of games by the same developer in a row. We've only done it a few times, and seeing how they, they grew as time went on and like the the if they make the same mistakes but also how they improved in certain areas that can be interesting even if the games themselves aren't always like something that i enjoy uh, i don't know if i'll ever play your turn to die that sounds like a game that people are gonna have to force me to play via voting we have a lot to play at the moment these must explode right Yay! Oh, it did nothing. Oh, we're dead. Okay, cool. And it was getting closer. Thought be your thing because it's dang rompa, but good. <laughs> One of the best time travel stories I am out. Oh, is Quantum Break about time travel? I hope that's not a spoiler. I, I don't know anything about Quantum Break. 
Not a spoiler, yes. Okay, so time travel is set up front. Okay. George? Where's three houses on this currently, and how can we push it back further? Um, three houses is not last on the list. I think we're going to be playing it next year, he said, for the second year in a row. I'm, three houses is probably the game I am dreading the most on the list at the moment. It's that, or what's, is it The Void? The Void, I hear, is pretty long, and I'm worried that I'm not going to like it, and it's going to be a miserable time. But yeah, I thought I was going to dislike Dujana, and then that ended up being a very, very good time, so... Who knows? Oh, it's open! Fuck, I'm wasting time for no reason. Really like Quantum Break, but it's definitely not groundbreaking for people who aren't thrilled by any universe corporate brand guidelines being readable textures. Also, it runs like ass regardless of hardware. Is it on PC? I don't know, man. If only you liked something that I really liked, I would be like, you know what? Maybe I should check this out. says Miller love I don't love Miller where is the where is this fake news coming from all the time just like someone was saying in chat yesterday during break oh he's already said that oh it gets good in season three I didn't know if you don't like expanse by season two or in season two okay you've you've done your your bit due diligence that's it okay it's not for you that's fine I'm not gonna say oh you, you didn't like season two no season three where it is where it gets like really good you have to watch it season three is the best season three is my favorite but I think the expanse gets like legit good in season two so if you don't like how I season two okay the show's not for you that's fine I I think see expand season one is not bad either like I was enjoying the show at that point but it wasn't until season two that I was like okay yeah this show's for me it's kicking off quite well in light you can hurt them yeah we know I could never expect someone to watch multiple seasons so they figure out it's worth it not three three episodes tops really I feel like I feel like it's a completely acceptable statement to say Hey, the f the first season it w it was still finding its footing. Like there's some really good show. Are we gonna fucking bash on Community now too? Community season one is not that great, chat. Like season Community season one is worse than the gas leak year. There's a hot take for you. Like Community is a great show, but season one is like Ugh. like like I, I I think the first good episode of Community is like the first episode of season two. Like like season one is not good of Community, man. I'm surprised I stuck with it. Community season one is still enjoyable. Maybe I'm remembering is worse than it is in my, in my mind. I don't know. Maybe I'm just trying to make my point. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Always Sunny took a few seasons to hit his stride too. Yeah, Always Sunny took another good example too. I think... Oh, shit. Did this break? Always, uh, Always Sunny season one is not very good. I didn't like that either. Wait, hold on. Wait. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. oh shit. My first few streams are awful. The videos on the other hand, uh they they've been, you know, the same amount of quality the whole time. Uh I guess I have to restart for this TV. Oh, it's right here, that's good. We take the facts of our existence for granted, unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self delusion covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Star Trek The Next Generation is is not just like, oh, it's, it's, it's not as good, but it gets better. Star Trek The Next Generation is some of the worst television I have ever seen in my life in the first season. Holy fuck is that bad. Okay, like, come on, like, you, you got sometimes shows take a little while to get going. I think that's, that's fine. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alden Durlis trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Uh-oh. 
Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Derleth, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. Since we're doing the remaster, the product placement for this game originally was that every single battery was Energizer. <laughs> and there was also a massive fucking Energizer billboard too, along with Verizon phones and billboards too. A chatter said they, they were branded cars. Lincoln, I think, Lama. What the fuck? Why? But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Kojima is something again. Kojima is the kind of director that would pay the brand to be able to use it in his game to add some weird layer of gimmickness or authenticity. All right? But not here. You know, like, like what's, what's, what was going on with Alan Wait. <laughs> Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could I really? Of course, Mr. Dude. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh. Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, um, I... <laughs> Is this porn? What's going on? Please, Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host his thousand bones, and all shall be glory. No! Shh, darling, be calm. Shh. How'd they film that? Alvin Durlitt learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. All right, didn't like that one. That one was not very good. Oh, there's a radio in here too. This this is a skateboard. Finishing, uh, finishing tomorrow, by the way. Close. Close. Come on, I just want to go down the stairs and just ride across the courtyard. That's all I want to do. I don't want to go really far. Oh, for fun, the manuscript page! Checkpoint! Well, I hope that one wasn't important. EOC. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, it was work. Hold on, let's turn it a little bit. I wanna go I wanna go even further. One too. Well, this is a cool gimmick for the fight. You know what? You know what? Best TV shows of all time. All right, let's see. Best TV shows of all time by the Ro Rolling Stone, IMBD or Rolling Stone or what? Let's see. All right, let's see. What We Do in the Shadows, haven't seen it. Oz. I've seen some of Oz. The Good Fight, never heard of it. The Odd Couple, never heard of it. Rick and Morty, oh. Squid Game. 
Let's do let's do IMBD top 250. All right. This is going to be just me saying every single time I don't I don't I haven't seen this. Here we go. Number 1, Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad season 1 is possibly the worst season. Breaking Bad is is very overrated. It's still pretty good, but it's pretty overrated, I think. Season 1 of Breaking Bad is not as good as everything that came after that, okay? Like, come on. Breaking Bad is I would say half an ex half an example of like it gets it takes a season to get good, all right? Planet Earth 2. Okay, the, these are documentaries, so don't count. Band of Brothers, haven't seen it. Chernobyl, Chernobyl's a miniseries. The Wire. The Wire is good right from the start, I think. However, I will say, The Wire is is still a show you need to get invested in. And it might not, you might not be understanding how good it is until you get to Season 2. Because it, it builds on past events. So The Wire, I think, is still good in Season 1. If you restart The Wire, it's like, oh, the quality's still there. It's just like, you just might not see it until until later. The Wire's kind of boring. Yeah, The Wire can be kind of boring to get into, but it's not bad. It just needs an investment. That's what I think. And I don't think that qualifies as what I'm saying. Avatar The Last Airbender is number 7 because weebs have voted it up. I think we can all agree that Season 1 of Avatar The Last Airbender is, is pretty bad. Because I think we can all agree that uh, it's all bad. The whole show is bad, so that's bad. Uh, Blue Planet 2, The Sopranos, I have never seen The Sopranos, Cosmos is next, Our Planet, Game of Thrones, is Game of Thrones Season 1 bad? I don't think so, I think Game of Thrones Season 1 is pretty good, Game of Thrones starts off pretty good, right? The World at War, never heard of this, Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty Season 1 is pretty good, I've only seen Season, I, I can't, I think I've seen the first four seasons of Rick and Morty, I don't, I don't think I've seen, um past that maybe five seasons i don't know uh bluey how is bluey 16 what full metal alchemist brotherhood is 17 the weebs control imdb I, apparently okay whatever the last dance never heard of it life is again documentary can i can i take documentaries off this please the twilight zone 20 sherlock is 21 all right i think sherlock is actually a decent show but it's not a balls to the wall. Oh my god, fantastic show! I think Sherlock is has some good moments he, uh, uh, in some of the episodes. Season one is actually pretty good, I think. Second, however, having said that, season one of Sherlock is three episodes, and episode two sucks dick. Like episode two is bad of of, of season one of Sherlock, and like episode one and three are pretty good. The second episode's really bad. Thank God you don't read YouTube. What? How is this a hot take? It's 21 on IMDb. At the time as it was coming out, the H Bomber guy hadn't made his video yet, so everyone still liked the show. It like Sherlock fuck again, critically acclaimed, audience acclaimed. Like it's it was pretty good as it was coming out. Fucking later seasons, it draw shits the bed hard, and that retroactively made stuff that came before it worse because you're like, oh fuck, he was a dumbass all along, and I didn't realize it because the, the writing hadn't revealed itself to be fucking stupid yet. So we were all being like, you know what? There's something here, okay? Which episode was that? The second episode of season one is the is the one with the museum with with the teapots or whatever. It was really bad. It was that that was just it was just boring, okay? But it's like it has some cool moments. It's very stylish. I think Sherlock has the BBC Sherlock has some redeeming qualities. I don't think that the last season has anything redeeming in it, except for maybe the fact that Benedict Cumberbatch is in it and he does a pretty good job and seems like he'd be having fun. But but that's that's it. Okay, let's see. All right, Sherlock. This and okay, what's next? The Vietnam War. Haven't seen that. Batman the Animated Series. Really? Attack on Titan. Really? What? The Office. I don't know if the first season of The Office is bad or not. I, I, I'm not a big enough Office head. Is the first season of Office still finding its footing? Is that bad? I don't know. Attack on Titan sucks balls. I, oh, no one cares about your wee fucking proxy war, okay? We're talking about real shows and their seasons, okay? Is the first season of The Office bad or not chat office heads in the chat see the office season one was one where okay thank you so we have another another proof of one a really good show that lots of people like and the first season is it's still finding its footing okay this is a, this happens all right all right 27 arcane okay here's my hot take if if the show is is less than five years old it's not allowed to be in the best list of all time the, the time needs to pass before you're allowed to get on this list these lists fuck that shit no no 
Like, no, it has to stand the test of time for a bit, all right? See also Sherlock. <laughs> okay, next is the, the Blue Planet. Again, documentary. Better call... I'm going to skip over the documentaries, all right? Better Call Saul. I haven't seen Better Call Saul. I'm going to guess that Better Call Saul starts off better than Breaking Bad does because they already had a show behind them at that point and they had a world to build on. I'm going to guess Better Call Saul has a much more consistent quality throughout its five or six seasons or whatever. Okay, that's what I'm going to guess. Firefly. Firefly, it, it, season one is definitely the worst. It's also the best because it only got one season. Uh, this still hurts me a lot and I'm sad. Let's just move on. Clarkson's Farm. What the fuck is that? Death. How is there so much fucking weep shit on this? Hunter x Hunter's here. All right. Only Fools and Horses. Okay. Only Fools and Horses is one of those British shows I don't even think should count as having seasons. My family loved this growing up. My fucking grandfather looked and might, if he's still alive, might still looks like Del Boy. So that was always funny to me. Or the same kind of like frame. Um, I don't, I, I can't judge only fools and horses. Okay, L let's just move on. Whatever. Okay. Um, True Detective. True Detective. The first season was the best one, but the ending of it sucked. So I don't know. I haven't, I haven't even seen True Detective season two and three. But this is an anthology series. Who, who gives a shit? Seinfeld. All right. I don't know. 173 episodes. Were there really 173 episodes of Seinfeld? I am not a big enough Seinfeld head. I've seen a lot of episodes, like, just from watching TV, but I have never sat down and watched Seinfeld season to season. Does Seinfeld season one, is, does it suck? Seinfeld, Se Seinfeld, you can't say Seinfeld sucks without just, like, broadcasting to the world, I was born after 9-11, okay? You can't say Seinfeld sucks. Se Seinfeld was, like, like, fucking, like, monumental in, like, f like, f in the formation of what TV is today. If you say Seinfeld sucks, you just were born after Seinfeld. Like, you don't understand, okay? You just don't get it, all right? If you go back and you're like, Seinfeld's not funny, there's a whole fucking trope page built around this, all right? Like, I understand you might go back and be like, okay, what the fuck is it even doing? Back then, it was groundbreaking. It was fucking banger, all right? Like, come on. Seinfeld, I, fucking hell. All right, I, I haven't watched season to season, though. Is Seinfeld 1, season 1, does it suck? I don't know. <laughs> season one of letter kenny I, I i i haven't seen letter kenny like episodes i've only seen clips of letter kenny i've seen a lot of them um but yeah i haven't i haven't watched letter kenny seinfeld got season got a good in season four okay i'm gonna guess seinfeld is another one then that took some time to find its footing however seinfeld is an older show so i want to say you know don't don't type in fucking moving goalposts in the chat because again this is in your favor weebs all right I'm going to say maybe that's so old that TV was still kind of in a formative time that maybe that even shouldn't even count. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. So that's that. The Decalogue. I, I don't even know what this is. 80, 1989 to 1990? I've never heard of this. The Beatles Get Back. Persona. What's this Persona show? Persona? I don't know what the show is. It's not anime. Gravity Falls 45. Fargo 43. Cowboy Bebop. The Netflix show at 44? I thought people hated that. All right, Fargo season one is really good. But again, it's an anthology series, so it's hard to judge. However, that doesn't mean it counts against my point here. It still, it still had a banger for season. Even when anthology, it has the same kind of vibe from season to season. So it's 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 pretty good. Far, Fargo Fargo is, is, is good season one. I would say actually Fargo season one is possibly the best season. Fargo season one is, is really, really good. It's between one and two, I think. Um, I don't even think I finished season three. Fargo, Fargo is is, is really really good. Um, uh, Cowboy Bebop, it's the it's the anime. It's not Cowboy Bebop and Gravity Falls are together. Nathan for you is number forty six. Never seen an episode of that in my life. When they see us, Succession. All right, su how Succession is a new show, and I'm guessing that new shows now find their footing faster. Is season one of Succession good? I haven't seen it. Is Succession Season 1, is it like, that's the quality and they hit it the whole entire time? Like, let's split it this way, chat. The fact that, like, like Supernatural is a show that ran for a long time and people loved the pilot and first season of Supernatural because it was so exceptional in how, how great it was and how it hit the ground running with the quality it kept throughout the whole entire run for all the first five seasons of its run. <laughs> but, but yeah, Succession starts with a banger? Okay, alright. 
Really? Yeah, Supernatural, the pilot, like, they like they nail so much of the formula of that show. First try. First try. Like, like bam, first try. Supernatural. Like, really good. Friends. I don't... I've seen Friends, all of it, multiple times. Uh, I don't... I haven't. I haven't seen the later seasons more than more than once. Lily loves Friends. I would have to ask Lily if she thinks that, that Friends um, starts off with a good season. I don't know. I don't know if... I, I think season one Friends is actually pretty bad. It's kind of awkward. Friends sucks. Okay, Zoomers. Friends, friends, I will not defend as much as Seinfeld. Fr friends, friends doesn't have the artistic integrity and merit of Seinfeld. Okay, Friends was just like a, a big pop culture phenomenon that was that, that resonated with a with a generation in in a fun kind of like way, whereas Seinfeld actually you know had some artistic backing. <laughs> but friends, friends, I think is is okay. Taskmaster, that's a. Uh, uh, not scripted. Well, maybe it's a little scripted. It's always funny in Philadelphia. In, it's it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Season one of Always Sunny kind of sucks. I'm sorry. It kind of sucks. Like, Weeaboo Bill loves Always Sunny, and he wanted me to get in the show so bad, and it was so hard to be his friend <laughs> in this period. <laughs> okay? Always Sunny, season one. Oh my god. I, I said to him so many times, and more like it's never funny in Philadelphia. <laughs> like this, no, no, it's just not good, man. It's not good. It's not good until Danny DeVito shows up. And even then, it takes a little while after that for it to start getting good. All right? It's just not. I'm sorry, it's not. I always laugh my ass off when I watch it. Okay, maybe I need to go back and give it another chance then. I don't know. But I, I was miserable getting through season one of Always Sunny, man. Like, this, no. <laughs> Always Sunny gets worse when Danny DeVito gets there. What? So to you, Always Sunny is a is a fucking like, oh my god, what a great season, and then fucking like seventeen seasons of like, Bleh. like what? What are you talking about? Danny DeVito rounds out the group. He brings he brings the the, the spice that was missing, man. He's the last piece of the puzzle. What the fuck? What? What? As if, never heard of this. Monty Python's Flying Circus, The West Wing. All right, West Wing, 1999, 2006. West Wing is a good show. I have only seen a couple episodes here and there. West Wing heads in the chat. Is season one of The West Wing? No, season one of The West Wing was like like written by one guy and it was like like a, a baby the whole entire time. That's not going to be, that's going to be, it's, season one's probably going to be good at that, right? Yeah? It's probably going to start out pretty, pretty, pretty great. Where is Lost on this list? I don't know. Season one of Lost is pretty good though, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. Curb your enthusiasm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have to reveal this. I'm sorry. I have I have never seen an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. I've seen clips and and like like best of episode bits on YouTube. I I have never seen a full episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Is is season one the weakest of Curb Your Enthusiasm? I can't judge it. I don't know. You like it if you appreciate Steinfeld. Steinfeld. <laughs> I love Seinfeld, so I think I would I would enjoy Curb Your Enthusiasm. Uh, Faulty Towers, that didn't even get, like, that was one of those British shows that only had some episodes. Pride and Prejudice, Freaks and Geeks, Blackadder Goes Forth, Twin Peaks. Again, did that even get, like, a second season, or did it only get two? Narcos? Is Narcos good? The, the Last of Us is on? Again, you shouldn't be allowed on these on this list until later. South Park, oh man. All right, Six Feet Under. Now, nah, Six Feet Under season one is really good. It does. It is a little awkward. There is a market improvement after season one, but I still think Six Feet Under season one is it's still good. It starts off good. Peaky Blinders haven't seen. Rome haven't seen. Steins Gate is here on eighty six. Dark. Dark season one might be the best one. The Boys. Now the Boys starts off pretty well. Fleabag. I've only seen one episode of Fleabag, and it was fucking fantastic. Battlestar Galactica. Battlestar Galactica season one is really bad. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's really bad. The Shield. The Simpsons. Simpsons season one is probably not going to be as good as what what comes after. I'm gonna guess. Arrested Development. Nah, season one of Arrested Development's great. House House is a little awkward in season one, but it's still pretty good. Downton Abbey, haven't seen it. Have to ask Lily. Lunch Punch Man, Invincible, and Severance. All right, that's it. That's the top 100. I'm not doing anymore. Oh, wait, hold on. Mad Men. 
Mad Men at 101, and Stranger Things at 102. Okay, Stranger Things, better every season, as we know, but it was still pretty good in season one. Mad Men, I don't know. I, I haven't seen I haven't seen Mad Men. I've seen like the first episode and it was pretty interesting. I think there are enough instances of banger shows needing a season before because remember, these aren't these aren't a list of good shows. These are a list of like the best shows of all time. And that there are enough on here that the first season was like, that was pretty fucking bad. I feel like it's 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 an acceptable phenomenon that sometimes a show needs a season to like coalesce into its best form. Do you like the Twilight Zone? I don't think I've ever seen an episode of Twilight Zone. I don't know why you even excluded recent shows when The Expanse is not out. I didn't exclude them. I hadn't seen them. What are you talking about? What, exclude them from the list? Expanse is... I don't know if The Expanse should be on here. When was the first season of Expanse? I would say five years. It's been more than five years since The Expanse came out. I meant Stranger Things. Where are you all finding such great TV that you can be like, Oh, if this doesn't get good in three episodes, fuck it, I'm not watching it. Who has time to watch entire shows before making dinner? Who is living in this land of fucking milk and fucking honey of prosperity? Of just sh great shows coming out of everyone's assholes that you could be like, meh, this isn't worth my time. Like, seriously, what the hell? Maybe if you don't have a lot of TV time, then yeah, I, I guess so. I guess I'm in that posi position, actually, because I can, um, because, like, I don't watch TV, so, like, I could just watch, I could just, uh, watch all the classics from now on. But, like, I don't know, man. Am I just like, I, when I go into a show, like, and I usually like give it time. Like, I'm like, all right, this is an investment. I will, I will at least see, like, uh, see where it goes for a season or so. TV shows aren't just competing with TV shows for me. They're competing with all kinds of other interests. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Yeah. That makes sense. For me, I separated a bit more. I think. I don't, maybe I'm just too, like, I want to finish it pilled, which is like, I think, as you can see on stream, usually when we start something, I want to finish it. Usually, there have been some exceptions. I have tried to branch out. But even, like, even a book, like, if even if a book has to be really fucking bad for me not to finish the book, and, and reading is one of the, uh, the, the most time-consuming and, and, for lack of a better term, strenuous pieces of me uh, forms of media to get through. Maybe I, j I just like finishing things. I don't know. And then I can look back and go, okay, this didn't get good until this time, and I'm fine with that. Second. I usually finish games. What are you talking about? Games are the media that I do, like, oh, I have an hour to kill and that looked so interesting to me. Let me check it out more than anything else, though. That, that is true, yeah. Hmm. Maybe games are the exception. Maybe you're right, Chatter. I don't think we can get up here. Do you think there's an invisible wall? Oh! <gasps> Lame. What books did you not finish apart from Steins Gate? Um, the only book that I started recently, and I say recently, it was a couple of years ago, was a Stephen King book. It was uh, it's on my shelf. Eleven twenty two sixty three. I liked it. I didn't. I didn't stop. Um, no, I did stop reading it because something pissed me off. But I wanted to get back to it. But then I just like every single time I thought of it, the thing that happened pissed me off. That pissed me off so much kept creeping back in my head, and I, and I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to invest the time into that. But I was enjoying it until that moment. Um, it, I, I don't know anything else you're gonna be hard-pressed for me to tell you something that I a book I didn't finish after I started reading it Do you want to know the moment you want to know the moment? All right, here's the moment spoilers for something that happens in the first third of, of 11 22 63 by Stephen King okay it's about a guy that's that's that finds out that there's this time traveling thing in 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 a in a restaurant basement or something I can't remember exactly where it is okay and he goes back in time and he's he's tr gonna try and prevent the assassination of JFK. That 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 is the the um the the premise of the book. So that that's not a spoiler, okay? That's the premise of the book, okay? So w what he finds out is that if he goes back in time, when when he goes back to the present, whatever change happened when he went back into the present gets locked in. And if he goes back in time again, it causes a new a new reset of of being locked in. So he he figures he can only do it once or something, or he goes back and forth a few times to see what he can make happen with small little changes or nothing else that sort of thing anyway and then he decides to do a, a long expedition of going going back in time 
um, in order to to make something big happen, and he he plans it for a long ass time, and then it's like day one of of, of his of his journey after s spending like months or weeks uh, weeks or months planning this uh, how he's gonna do it, and he realizes accidentally that he brought his cell phone with him back in time, and instead of being like whoops better go and reset this try and go back again you know because he because it's always the same day when he goes back through the portal okay instead of being like whoops I spent so much time planning this better just reset it real quick oh let me leave my cell phone instead he's like you know what i'll just throw my cell phone into a muddy pond next to the hotel it'll sink it'll be fine and i put the book down and i didn't read anything after that because it was so fucking stupid that i just know that's gonna come back again later that it's gonna be like oh no i was successful in fucking in preventing jfk's assassination but unfortunately someone found that cell phone and now the space aliens is like I, I i did not read more than that page because, like, you you plan so much, dude. Just fucking go back through the portal and redo it again. Yeah, anyway, so that's that. That is the only book in recent memory that I started reading and, and didn't finish. What if it gets, book in the, gets good in the second or third book of the trilogy? So books sometimes need to find their funny. Yeah, I agree. I, I will finish it eventually. That's the only book in, 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 in that series, I think. I think I don't think it, it continues. But, yeah, I will, I will I'll go back and finish it. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. So this game is not grabbing your attention. No, it's always like this. We all, we always like bullshit with chat here. Chat is like chat is the main reason to stream for me. The coal mine wasn't far now. I have four kids. I need I need adult interaction. Talk to me, please. I need to talk to someone. Even if the opinions make me angry, what the fuck is going on, Today, Troy Chan? I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Adult? Yeah, some of you don't watch anime. You know what, I need to, uh... I need to turn the, uh, the AC on. Uh, is this a good stopping point, though, actually? It's at 7.30. It's 7.30. It might be good to end here. This seems like a, uh... Are we near the end of an episode? Or do we have to go through the coal mine museum to do it? Good place to end the stream, I think. Would it show a number next to your name if you voted by now? Because it's not locked in yet. Will you play Fortnite in preparation for Alan Wake 2? No. No, I'm good. Rating of the logo on the side of the van. Big ice cream cone. Big flashlight. Did it take away my weapons? Are you an adult? Yes, and I watch anime. All right, so that means no. Yes, I don't watch anime. All right, so there are 70 adults here. Uh, no, I don't watch anime. No, and I watch anime. Okay, 73 adult. Okay. All right, let's 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 stop here. All right. Tomorrow, I think we will try and book it through the game. Although today's pace wasn't too bad, I think. Uh, anyway, so we'll continue more Alan Wake 1 tomorrow or Alan Wake Remaster tomorrow. Uh, I think we're going to be able to finish this for Friday for sure. Whether or not we're going to uh, to get the DLC done or the control DLC done, the control DLC done remains to be seen. Uh, what was the the decision for fan art? Thursday or Saturday? When you look at stream Steam achievements, only 10%, 30% finish games. I assume that it's also the case for other media. Most people, so most people, most people just take the best they can that they can find and complain that there is nothing good. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm the weird one. To me, watching a show for one season is is fine. Although it depends on the season, it depends on what kind of show it is. There are going to be exceptions. There, there's other terms. Have you seen Star Trek: Deep Space Nine? What are your thoughts? So I thought that Deep Space Nine was so boring when I was a teenager, but I think I would enjoy it now. I hated that. I liked Voyager. Voyager when I was a teenager. Let's put it that way. Okay. So, you know, that's my shitty Star, Star Trek opinion. People voted Saturday. Okay, we'll do fan art on Saturday then. So d so day two of Alan Wake 2, we'll do we'll do fan art. Okay, thank you, Sister Ryan. Thank you. Watch Black Sails. Season one is enjoyable after it's peak TV. It's my fave show. A lot of shows need some time to find their footing. Yeah, I agree with that. I haven't seen Black Sails though. No. I've heard that's good. I've heard our, our flag means death is also good. That's a pirate comedy show though. Black Sails is, is a drama, right? If you have five seasons of TV watching time, I would recommend Person of Interest, a really fun sci-fi crime procedural. Doesn't that also need a season to get good? Isn't that another one where it starts off as, like, stupid procedural bullshit, and then later on it starts getting better, like, uh, sci-fi stuff? Nope. 
No, it's it's good from from the season one all the way. It's pre it's it's mid the whole time. It's fun procedural bullshit from season one. Maybe it's the opposite then. I didn't drink the tea. There's a whole tea here. It's called fuck. I wanted that tea. God damn it. We start talking about fucking TV shows. God damn it. God damn it. I will have to watch Ex Expanse Season 2 now to kill this bit. No, you don't have to. If you if you hated Season 1 that much, Season 2 is not going to redeem it for you, okay? But if Season if season 1 you were like, eh, nah, then Season 2 I think has a high chance of being like, like boom, okay? But like, no bullshit. If you like you don't like Season 2, I'm not going to be like, oh, Season 3 is where it gets really good. Man of Answers already said, how is man? How is everyone hate the Expanse in chat? What the fuck? It's such a good show. I don't understand. I don't understand. Anyway, see you later. See you tomorrow. Expanse books kind of dropped the ball halfway halfway through. The, the, the Expanse books apparently have one of the best endings in, in all of long sci-fi books ever. Apparently the ending is like fucking like everyone was satisfied with the end. What the fuck are you talking about? Fucking just like, 